gentlemen, now it is time. It's a segment that everyone looks forward to. One of the highest rated segments of all time that I've ever done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Phil's day off. What's up, Piggy? Let's get it started. Big up, Smear Cat. It's my day off. Might leave the can but on a jerk off. It's my day off. Spend money on pulls and dumb shit. It's my day off. Might go out with my bitch wife cat. Give me money today. Give me money today. This is where my fucking money goes to every month. Garbage dump, grocery shopping, pay my taxes, pet store, pay my bills, pay my bills. Blowing his money on mobile games, blowing his money on this and that. I'm spending all this money by DoorDash for my business. I need to put disgusting food in the mouths of my family members. Obviously, I need tips. Yes, I spend money on mobile games. Okay? These are my life priorities. Pay my taxes. It's my day off. Might leave the can, but on a jerk off. It's my day off. Spend money on pulls and dumb shit. It's my day off. Might go out with my bitch wife cat. Give me money today. Obviously, I need tips. Give me money today. This is where my fucking money goes to every month. Shout out to the trolls. For those who contributed, thank you. It would be great if we get a few more tips. Uh, to make up earlier today, we did not hit the, the, the hat goal either. Uh, it's been a very slow day. It would be great if we could pick it up a little bit with uh, maybe some contributions tied with tips. If you can, just saying, you know, I know some people are super chatting or whatever, that helps long term, but right now I really can help. Tomorrow's my day off, the tips I'll have for my day off, you see? Give me money today. It's, it's disappointing uh, to me, and it's sad, but at the same time, you know, it just, once again, all the detractors, they said this was going to happen, and they were right. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors, they were right. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors, they were right. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself right now? They were right. Like, we totally fucked him. No, fuck all that noise. Get you a bottle of gin from Total Wine. Fire up your TV. Drink your, drink your gin. Drink your, drink your gin. Consequences have actions, Pip. Here's what you gotta do. Drink your, drink your gin. Drink with Pepsi later on. Play you fucking WWE champions. Consequences have actions, Pip. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Yeah. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Yeah. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself right now? They were right. Yeah. Like, we totally fucked up. Stop being a fucking victim. You fucking bitch. You fucking asshole. Own your shit. Own your shit. Own it. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself, bitch? They were right. Like, we totally fucked up. You're still on mission one. No, I'm not gonna let you lie. I know you're lying. I'm gonna pick on you. I know you're lying. Being dishonest and begging for money <laughs> and people wanting justice. He is not a real person. He is not genuine. He is not honest. He's a scammer. I just see a scammer. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. I just see a scammer. <laughs> Bagging. Like, we totally fucked him. Alright, I'm done. I, I, I'm done. I understand everything now. I know why there's this hate wave on him, and it's been on him for years. It's because of this bullshit. American Mall. Why do I say I'm not a children's entertainer? Because I'm not a puppet. I'm not here to play a character. I'm not here to pretend that I'm something that I'm not. I don't dye my hair. 
I don't act stupidly constantly to get attention from children. I don't do stupid pranks. You know what I mean? I don't cause drama. I'm here just to play games and have fun. I'm a legitimate gamer. Big up your dad. I eat banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I eat banana, tasty banana. Please don't feel it comes in the milk. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. Squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. Act and talk a certain way with certain mannerisms, certain over the top reactions. Beaming at the top of their lungs, jumping, flailing, doing weird things. That being said. 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 Hello, hello. This is Phil. Phil Burnett. All right. And um, just wanted to tell you that I love the podcast. That being said. Big ups. That being said. Best is podcast. Best. That being said. Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. That being said. Which vest is podcast? Best. That being said. Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. A L T. Insight. The legend. Fantastic, Mr. Sam. The dentist. Eat to the dead, psychological style host, me or cat, artistic style host, tap being said, which vest is podcast best, tap being said, which vest is podcast best. If there was ever meaningful content, it's being produced right here on That Being Said. (laughs) (laughs) What's up, everybody? We're here. That Being Said Thursday show in the house. And we have brought the legendariest of legend here with us today. It's a gun in the house. How are you feeling, brother? I would like to sleep forever. Perfect. (laughs) (laughs) As we all would in the house here. Business style announcements. Before we get the show fucking going, Meerkat, hit it up. Business announcements. Hit it. Welcome, everybody. Let's get through this quick. (laughs) We're doing the Chicken of the Ring again. Gundam. In case you don't Uh, know, this is something you can participate in. And you can win tons of prizes. Now, the contest is about making a parody song or a cover song or any kind of song uh, involving this entire vortex of stupidity. It has to be 90 seconds long at most. You send it over, over the email, tbspodcast at proton.me, and you make sure to write down the lyrics somewhere so people in chat can actually know what you're saying while you're performing your song. And the deadline for this is the last day of February, 29th, 2024. Thank you. That was I the- I can gu- hardly contain myself. <laughs> Gundam, you remember when you were paint- It's very exciting. You're- you painted that wrestling belt, Gundam, for the, uh, the guy figure- Yes, you the me- classic. That was it. That was what you were painting. That was the Kaching of the Ring belt. The legendary Kaching of the Ring belt. Changed lives. And the winner, his life was changed. Uh, but anyways, enough nonsense. Enough tomfoolery. Let's get to it. Uh, it so, uh, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, while well, speaking about this, we did uh, kind of uh, got introduced to a lot of new personalities through the Kaching of the Ring. We got Lefty. We got Lemtex. We got a bunch of people that participated that since then have grown their channels and created a bunch of entertainment for other people. So mm-hmm. very positive, I guess. You know, if you found him through us, then big ups. Yes. We're, we're glad to have him on. Dude, WPIG. Yeah. This is a farm for WPIG. So that's the, that's the only reason I do it is to get songs on that fucking station. But you're all legends. But let's move on to our the main event here, the man of the hour. All right. So let's gum them. Let's before you talk about the show that happened yesterday. I do want to talk about obviously your inter- your first interaction with the Clum Lord, Mike Clum. Oh, the Clum Doc- Lord. Oh. Uh huh. As, as you as you know, uh, so the first interaction uh, was your first question. I believe. Let me see if I can get my the quote right. You said, "Does Cat look like Fiona from Shrek?" Or what was the other option? I forget. Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson. Give him room to move. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. And Mike Klum, uh, kind of. He shit bullets. His knuckles turned white as snow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you were in on the documentary. You were totally cool with being interviewed by him. It seemed like you were all, all on board for the documentary to go forward, right? Well, I kept being, uh, castled for it and i figured i i guess i'll do it some people want to see me others don't i figured fuck it why not whatever let's go no big deal it's daddy phil mm -hmm. yes <laughs> and but then as we know uh sir dsp has decided to cancel the documentary with sir clum and uh that will we all got clum blocked and it's not happening so then you said yesterday on your show though that uh, you might have had a hand in this. So we that's the number one question like, people uh, in my fucking head. Yeah, what, what do you mean by that? I honestly <laughs> believe that my uh, line of questioning was just a little too much for Clum at the time. And it was really weird how right after my stream ended, Dark Side Phil shows off his wife. Yes. It was just strange coincidence. So mm -hmm. uh, my producer is sitting there going, I think Mike Clum told him to get ahead of this and bring his wife on, and it just snowballed affected into the fuckery we have now. Mm -hmm. I can honestly say I knew that the documentary wasn't going to happen, and DSP was looking for an out, and the second he brought his wife out, which I'll admit, that's the one time DSP did something I didn't see coming. Yes. But when yep. he brought her out, I knew it was over. I was like, <laughs> okay, he brought out Kat, this shit's done, give it a week. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Like, what were we going to see Phil do anyway? Sit and scratch his ass for, like, most of the video as he tries to pignosis Mike Klum throughout the whole fucking thing. <laughs> well, I would like to see, like, just, like, shopping for cherry juice. I mean, that would be kind of fun, right? <laughs> I the would waddling. be interested in the cherry juice haul. <laughs> Yeah. I guess yeah. now the, the positive that we got out of this is people are just speculating on what it could have been and they have their own head cannon of what they would have liked seeing in it. But since we're not going to get to see it, uh, we will never know. But the cat thing, I, I think they got it in the works way before you talked to Mike. Um, I'm thinking they maybe Mike gave Phil some advice when they had that romantic lunch together and he told her, hey, maybe, you know, she should bust out yeah, the maybe old cat. You your wife after i talked to it's a gundam <laughs> <laughs> you know it's a part of the marketing campaign who knows like is there any part of you that thinks like mike clum seems to be very like he didn't want to say a bad word about anybody you know what i'm saying well, he hasn't spoken to me since that happened uh... but he's spoken to other people so mm. but i i don't think he uh, he has spoken a lot about this outside of giving the the side scroller some kind of a generic like chat GPT excuse. I didn't why even it, get it's the not chat happening. GPT. <laughs> I was thinking about this. Like, I'm I'm sure he's been somewhere and spoken to someone about it. Was it um was it Review Tech USA? Has he been back on? Oh history? yeah, he was on yeah, Review he was Tech. On there and yeah. yeah. There you yeah, go. Yeah. It's there. I think that's the one and only place, unless I'm missing something, but I think that's the only place he's been uh, where we've actually heard him say kind of, again, he doesn't really say a lot, but at least it's, you know, actual words from a human being and not just a JPEG. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, you know, it is what it is. Who cares? Who gives a shit? Who gives a fuck? We'll see who he goes next. I mean, did, did any, did uh, he? I heard it's going to be like ahead. wings or some shit like that, ah, see? which I can honestly say I wouldn't be that interested in. Eh, yeah, what's there? I mean, who's who's left though? I mean, you got wings, you got boogie, you got you know Cyrax. <laughs> what are we doing? I hurt Cy you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're gonna go next. See, I don't think Mike Clum would. That's not Mike Clum's wheelhouse in my mind. He seems so like straight edge. Like, I think you're too edgy for him. You know, Gundam, Mike Clum. I think you know? I'm too edgy for most people in this day and age. I should have never <laughs> stepped foot out of the '90s. <laughs> <laughs> that could be. But even like Mike Columbus seems like he's very, he didn't want to say anything bad about anybody. Didn't no. want to say about Dark Side Phil. He thought like, he was kind of ashamed about saying like, support Gundam, guys. Drop a tip, drop a like, like a little bit of digging on DSP. That was too much. But anyways, who cares? That's he, I think, I think he's trying that's... to label me as a detractor that hated DSP, which I thought was odd because I don't hate DSP. I don't have the energy to hate him. Like, <laughs> it would yeah. be just, my arms aren't working, but they're going up in the air. <laughs> it's yeah. just too much wasted energy to be mad at Phil. Like we all know he's a fuck up. We all know he's a liar. He's scams. Yes. He, we all know Phil. We studied him more than we studied algebra in high school. Let's True. be real with ourselves. Correct. To be pissed at him is just it's not worth it. I tune in for a laugh, a little giggle here. I look for my gold dust. I get on my way. Yeah. Yeah. 
pretty much. Yeah. I think I, th- I think Mike knew the situation, the weird kind of tightrope he was on, and just had to show no edge, you know, no allegiance one way or another, just to try and get this thing made. I think that was the only way he could have done it because you know the it's, the second yeah, you show any kind of you know side scrollery. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, side scrollery. I like that yeah, new yeah. phrase. <laughs> yeah, side that, side scrollerism. You can't show side yeah. scrollerism. Never, never can yeah. do that. <laughs> once you, yeah, once you fall off that tightrope in that kind the of direction, you hold you, Bill you, accountable. It's side yeah. scrollery. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, uh, it, we, yeah. Go ahead. It's go also ahead. really funny that DSP had people that he was grooming behind the scenes to be a part of the documentary to talk positively about him. That that's I would love, so fucking funny. I would love to have seen Derek interviewed. And I would kill for footage of Derek on Cherry. Can I say that before I say it? I almost slipped. Well, Derek straight up uh, blocked the Clum Lord on Twitter just uh-huh. immediately. And then I think he was even flexing about it in DSP's chat. He's like, yeah, I blocked that troll. He Derek's one too, w. which I thought was terrible. Derek, you should be ashamed of yourself, little <laughs> mister. I went on your Twitter page and learned about rainbow blowjobs. Oh. If there should be blocking, can I say that? Yeah, you can. Too late now. Yeah. If there should be anyone blocking, it should be me blocking you, little mister. That was uh-huh. filthy. <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs> Go to your room, son. <laughs> That's his favorite place, though. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm taking away your credit card and laptop. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no he doesn't spend money that's that's the oh, yeah, that's why he's such an alpha he finds yeah. roundabout ways to watch the paid streams and then it led to the the complete collapse of cherry pimps by the way they were fucking up his whole shit because of yep. Derek. he did do crash cherry pimps because there were so many people that used the same exploit as him trying to fuck with Derek, they closed the website for a while. No, <laughs> fuck no. dude, they fucked up the website. There were so many free people there because Derek found <laughs> Derek is the key. <laughs> Derek is the savant. He's the coom savant. Now this <laughs> is something I'd like to see in a documentary. <laughs> yeah, now that Mike, come on, yeah, hell yeah, let's Someone get the Derek send me document. a link to that information. I need it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure research. that documentary is going to have a bunch of random sex scenes just sprinkled in there just to keep Derek on board with it because otherwise <laughs> he's just going to cancel <laughs> oh god anyways let's not go too down the Derek hole you know oh god let's not go down that rabbit hole I should say that's a bad place to be um, any messages for Gundam we want to get through about the interview per se because let's kind of finish the interview talk. I mean the fucking documentary talk now I think Sam what do you think yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't He's remember going. a damn thing I said to Mike clone, to be honest with you. There was That's no fine. planning for that, too. Because I know some people are pissed off at me because uh, I didn't do any research or hammer him with questions. And it was literally like Mike kept emailing me. He wanted to talk to me. So I'm like, mm-hmm. uh, I'm doing a live show right now. You want in? He's like, cool. I'll be on. We'll talk about crap we're going to do together there. And that was it. Yeah. yeah. I-, I didn't know I was supposed to, like, have a 20-page bullet point for everything that he needs to know about. I wasn't going to hit Mike Clum over the head with, ah, oh, what I heard about the, the bank leaks, huh, Mike? Hmm? 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 <laughs> yeah. And WWE champions? <laughs> Do you think that Phil groomed Panda Lee? Your answers, <laughs> beliefs, and questions? True. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that, was, that was my question, actually, was like, because it does seem like you just kind of spring the fact that you're streaming on him, like, without his knowledge kind of thing, like, um, but... Obviously, I gave him he, fair warning. Okay, there you go. How about the um, one more recently, though? Let's talk about that. Because that's the same uh, deal. Talked to him again. Yeah. Oh, he just totally ignored me. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I was on stream. I figured, you know what? Let's uh, give him another shot. Probably not the wisest move after the uh, way okay. the first one went. I'm sitting here like he'd love to be back on after the way things went. Mm-hmm. But I highly doubt, like Sam said, he'd say anything that we want to know we're here. Like, he's not going to give me any of the dirt. Like, oh, yeah, Phil, he doesn't wear any socks, and he has, like, fucking dirt on his toes and shit. Yep. <laughs> Cat Cat fell down the stairs and broke the banister, but we had Hot Pockets. It was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, but, but his reaction to the cat question answered everybody's questions, yes. basically. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was rattled, man. He didn't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, you shook his... You shook him. He was like, uh, she... Very, 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 very fine. Very beautiful. I was yes. like, did she eat a whole buffet? 
<laughs> I, uh, I don't know how she was. <laughs> yeah, he was like very politician at that moment. I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I've got you. You son of a bitch. You've fallen into my trap. I'm Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Right. Well, I'd say, but any any kind of question for Gundam? I know we had a few. Let's get him out. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yes. Uh, do we start with a speak pipe message? I'm guessing yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, go. let's go with that. We are. His ham. Yo. That being said, tengo una pregunta. We're gonna keep the Spanish meme going since the club hey. meme is about to be. Uh, well, it's pretty much dead at this point. Um, my question here is, what do you guys think it was? What do you think was the final determining thing that made Phil say, you know what, the doc don't want to do it? Um, me, I think it's just him being a paranoid control freak. Um, it's just funny to see the ways that he's going to contradict himself, man, because he is a coward and a weasel. But he's a paranoid little coward and a paranoid little weasel that has to just have control of every single little thing. It's amazing. So I do wonder if it's this this creative control thing. That's my suspicion. I don't know. You guys might think differently. Also, what the hell's up with Rich, man? Really strange. Uh, he was over there just clumming all over the place on Twitter. You know, just what a what a. I mean, dude, we knew that this. I think everybody that follows Phil knew that this was a very real possibility. But uh, yeah, dude, this guy was definitely giving himself all of the clum shots. I. I on, I don't know. Very self congratulatory. Very weird. But I mean, he is fat. So what do you what do you expect? Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, well, Thanks, well. Okay. Dude. The question is, what was the straw that broke the camel's back in terms of the documentary? Now, Gundam, let's get your take on. You still say it was it was DSP's you know DSP's choice to end this, right? I mean, Mike Clems oh, said yeah. the same, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, do you think it was? You know, that he didn't have creative control, as Mike confirmed on your show, that he does not have full creative control. Didn't DSP himself say he had full creative control? He did, he did. but then on your show, Mike Clum said he did Mike didn't. Clum said otherwise, so that yes. could be a big factor, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, Keemstar was in the mix. Turkey Tom was in the mix. I was in the mix. I, I'm not sure if Mudahar was. I know Moist Critical was. The list just kept growing. And uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure Phil did not want that shit going down. Then, also, <laughs> Phil got word that, like, Keem might have been funding it. So if Phil thought for a minute Keem was funding it, you know it was over, dude. <laughs> I want to see that team of Avengers. You know, Sir Moist, Gunda. <laughs> you know, you, Sir Moist, Talk Turkey, Tom. And then what? DSP's team of Avengers. We got Derek. Derek. <laughs> oh, got, I see. <laughs> we got Slayer. And... <laughs> That's kind of it. <laughs> Wait, oh, I hard. see. That's three. <laughs> yeah. Um, be... The Dutch brothers are gone. Okay. Yes, they're gone. So Phil did say he had friends and family that were going to be interviewed, but who are these friends? Nobody. Woodland critters that they feed. <laughs> Woodland in their... I mean, that's <laughs> Jasper's friends from outside. Jasper, the ants. <laughs> I mean, what else could it be? <laughs> Who else is it? Maybe his his neighbors. Well, Mr. Burnell, I guess he's all right. Sometimes he yells too much, but I guess he's fine. The security oh, guy only like... comes outside once a week. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Doordash driver. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said chat in general. Yeah, the stream chat in general. That's his only friend. <laughs> now we're gonna talk to stream chat. Phil's yeah, only were... window into the world. Yeah. They were gonna make a poll in chat. Is Phil good or bad? DSP chat, go ahead. <laughs> So they can be featured in the documentary. So what do you guys think? The rest of the panel, what do you guys think was the, the final well, straw? I was thinking about this earlier, actually. And because um, I, I went over the list of, of reasons he gave. I think there was four. Um, and uh, the first one he said, it's kind of stuck with me as being one of the, the biggest factors, the days away from streaming. I just don't think he likes the idea of not having that guaranteed um income i mean obviously it's not guaranteed income he doesn't know exactly how much he's get, getting we think we assume um but I, just knowing how he is i think that's that's a massive issue for him it's just that kind of uncertainty you know how much he loves his schedule and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff Bullshit. so yeah and then i think every other issue or every other reason he gave was kind of like a kind of shield you know he he, he brought up the fact that it needed to be even sided um and and tried to 
you know, say, oh, I don't want anyone harming you, you guys in my chat, or, oh, you know, God. the people that like me and, <laughs> and Kat and, my, you know, my family and all this. Um, but, yeah, I just – I really think that first one is is kind of the big one. See, I think it's more about the, the Avengers – assembling and like who's gonna who, how can it be a fair shake just tell the, that's what i said that's the only thing i fucking wanted which let it let just show dsp that's all we need and the rest of the world's gonna be like holy shit how does this person exist yeah, yeah. and who are we gonna talk to to change that linda his mom who might say positive things i mean are you we're not even sure of that who else i think she would she combed his hair and cut it for like good 16 point. years straight <laughs> good point <laughs> 14 cats but i don't know i, I think it's it, it, it feel and also his pay pigs remember a uh, fucking one minute man said you shouldn't do this so it, there's basically like five people that are supporting the whole dsp de detractor sphere if you lose one of the not detractor sphere D dsp's whole income if you lose one of them i mean it's kind of rough right so it's kind of scary so i can see yeah. that side of it too but <laughs> i i definitely agree with that point i think a lot of people that he quote unquote trusts because they've been longstanding pay pigs. They reached out to him over email or something. And as he said, he got fearful. So they made him paranoid about this whole thing being bad for him. And yeah. in the end, he says something that recently happened to him, which is the, the foreshadowing for future drama. Uh, and it, it made him very upset and was very bad, which I think is the tax man. The tax man is back. So we might see future tax saga because... I think as recent as yesterday, he mentioned of having a bunch of bills on his desk that need paying. And also, he needs to start working on his taxes soon. So it just, <laughs> it's kind of a coincidence. So I'm thinking that if he's that worked up, might be the tax man knocking yet again. It um, is tax season. And if he doesn't pay quarterly, it comes at the end. And yeah. it, it just hammers the shit out of you, plus the late fees. Oh, and we might know his, his track record of, of uh, paying those pesky taxes isn't the best. Um yeah. yeah. No, the, I can't the, fault DSP for that, to be honest with you. As a man who overpaid his taxes for four years, and I've been waiting two years to get my return, yeah. I can understand why he wanted to stiff the man. Good for you, <laughs> Phil. Fuck him. <laughs> the thieves. Well, he, he just stiffed everyone to stop paying his, his, his mortgage. That's pretty cool, too. Yeah. <laughs> what? Fuck mortgage companies. Hell yeah. Yeah, his oh, condo wait, in Connecticut, uh, he stopped condo. paying. Yeah. I yeah, thought yeah, you yeah, meant condo. like the, no, uh, no. the snort fork. He's paying for that. He's got to pay for that. But no, just yeah. yeah, just don't pay anything. Cool, just go bankrupt, dude. That's a good strat. Whatever. Go I'm a businessman. We go bankrupt all the time. <laughs> the the <laughs> one thing that I don't think has anything to do with him canceling is Cat. Uh, first of all, because they're already planning on having future Cat streams. Maybe she's gonna cook food, you guys. Maybe she's gonna play mm -hmm. co-op games. And also, after watching those Q and As, I don't think Cat has any say in anything that goes on in that household. What are you I think talking about? The second Jasper everything. reached out and touched her. She told Phil to remove him, and he did. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that's that's something. <laughs> well, that's it. But, I mean, everything else was... Yeah, Gundam, you obviously... Watched, I don't know how much you watched of it, but you saw the cat reveal and everything. Uh, I did see the cat reveal uh -huh. late. Okay. I watched Tevin watch it, and I was just yes. like, oh, boy. Yeah, so once you got past the visual side of it, visual aspects, mm -hmm. what did you think about their interactions? You know, um, I think Kat has, uh, she's become a pretty good echo chamber for Phil. I'll give her that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I think she's had six, five years of pig pigmatized, and now she just says whatever the fuck he used to say. Because her whole opinions well, have changed. She hates anime now, dude. And she oh, yeah. Like Didn't she, yeah. Did she, did she say on Twitter she was from Japan? Dude, yeah, she has samurai <laughs> swords. She's that level of, you know, anime fan to have samurai swords. She likes Japan Maybe that much. she watches Fuck it weed. in secret, you know? <laughs> I hope so. Give her Phil, some I'm just, sword. I'm playing Skyrim, Phil. <laughs> and then Jujutsu Titan. Kaisen comes on. <laughs> yeah. Edit! All right, go ahead, Mirka. You're going to say something. Um, Yeah, I, I think that was it, yeah. Okay, we can play cool. the next message. Go ahead, Samuel. Hit it. Cool. Uh, so we you. do have uh, a message. Plum bust. <laughs> we do have a message from Mr. Ludwig World Order. Oh, um, hello, hello. Yeah, here we go. Positive. Hey, everyone. So apparently, DSP claims that people making fun of Fat Cat is not the reason he's backed out of the interview. Even going what? so far as to say, uh, if anyone cares about what the trolls think, they need to reevaluate who they are. Or some bullshit. So the people doing a victory lap about that should probably go hit up a treadmill instead. But anyways, I think the funniest reason is, you know how DSP was saying he was making personal calls with his dents, coaching them and telling them what to say? 
I imagine he was like, okay, now guys, make sure you talk about how much I've totally improved as a person. And only as coffee was like, my gender is the square root of a potato. And all you hear from Derek is, <laughs> and DSP is like, oh man, I can't let Mike talk to these people. This isn't going to work out. And he bailed. That's my theory, at least. Take care. Have a good show. <laughs> Performative yes, art you. there. Yes, big ups. Little World Order. Legendary video maker and this say uh, you don't play maker. What a, what a legend. But yeah, that was kind of funny how he did say he coached up his the people what to say. Like, you got to yeah. hear those fucking calls. <laughs> God, we got to get our hands on that audio. Because <laughs> uh, uh, Gundam, Mike wanted to have all these interviews in person, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which so, made no sense to me. It's like uh, I said, uh, we're doing the Avatar because that's uh, what people recognize. And uh, I want money to enter my bank account. And he's like, yeah, sure, but like, uh, we want to interview in person. I'm like, fine, whatever, who cares? A little bit of footage leaks out. You're just going to see a dude looking like he's kicking a lot of ass. Like, it's just good optics for me. What was my point besides that? I don't know. <laughs> Send us money. <laughs> That's a good question. Stephen Hawking. Shout outs to Stephen Hawking, by the way, in chat. No, no shout outs to him anymore. <laughs> Love your work, brother. Uh, anyways. Have you seen the Derek birthday video, Gundam? We're not going to play it here, no matter what your answer is. But have you seen the Derek birthday video? No. Tell me more. I'll send oh, it to God. your Twitter later, bro. Okay. This <laughs> have I, a good time. Can I, get, can I get a teaser at least? Because my mind is just full of what could it possibly be. I guess I can explain related? it as uh, someone made it. Meerkat, you explain it. <laughs> someone so made it's it. A, <laughs> it's, a, it's a DSB fan. Yes. In, like, bold letters. Uh, making a, a Derek birthday shout out video that remarkably looks like a poorly made shit post that's something that fucking <laughs> trolls would make can't we just yeah. can't we just play it on stream why not play it we samuel it i'll before. get it yeah you get it we're, i know we're giving all the attention which will be some fucked up thing to do but i mean we gotta it, it's just play it yeah, it's, fuck it's, it's, it's it. fucking terrible but he pitches it like that you gotta see it now yeah that that's the thing because i know i've seen it and i don't even know how to describe it it's yeah, like a, I, do you it, have it sam it, uh, no, no. Uh, okay. This is this has got to be got amazing. It. It's going to change my life. I'm ready. It this will. is going to be like Michael Jackson's "Make That Change." The Man in the Mirror. <laughs> yep. You'll have more questions. Uh, yeah. It's it is a fever dream. Yeah. It's uh, it's bizarre. Uh, it uh, just like me, a cat says it looks like a detractor made it. It's so weird. But it's not because it includes literal video of you know DSP's. I mean Derek's video. Like I mean Derek's voice. It's 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 really him. You it know, like really if I him. was Derek's friend and I was mentally deranged, I would chroma key out Derek and then get porn stars on Fiverr or something to say happy birthday, Derek, and just have them surround him. <laughs> All right, I sent it to you, Sam. You'll get it up cool. there for him. Yeah. It's on fucking Twitter. It's the only way it's there. So it's not on YouTube. I don't think Epic, it would last. We got it. I don't think it would last. Yeah, <laughs> the new gay YouTube. <laughs> what is going on? Right, that oh, fuck. Get past that. Hold on. Now, let go me get my face up it. in this screen. Yes, get it going here. Here we go. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are Fast back with the DSP it. video. Oh he on. kind of talks about it. So get to where he plays it. He won't stop it once he starts playing it. There we go, right there. All right, okay. Shout outs to Jasper Kitty on Twitter. Together, and then we'll talk about it on the other side. Derek is turning 22 on January 12th. He is a member of the DSP community, and oh, he lives in real. Toronto, Canada. Yes, real. He enjoys wrestling. His favorite wrestler is Claudio Castagnoli from AEW. <laughs> he also supports the Raptors basketball team. He loves Pokemon and Power Rangers. Today, we will watch Derek go on a birthday adventure. Derek wakes up and listens to his favorite song. Oh, <laughs> it's my birthday day. <laughs> and I'm really excited. I'm gonna listen to my favorite song. I wanna be the very best. No way. It's real. Then he hop on a DSP stream. <laughs> Phil says, Oh, hey, Derek, how about we meet up for your birthday? Derek decides to take a plane down to DSP's house in Seattle. Derek arrives at his house and they greet each other. Hello, Derek. Do you remember the time I called Jasper Derek? <laughs> What a moment! Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Derek loves these toys. Derek loves Derek. 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 Jasper loves the toy. Not, not Derek. 
Derek Derek <laughs> loves cherry pips. <laughs> I mean, Jasper. Derek, Jasper loves any ribbon toy. Jasper loves any ribbon toy. He always has. <laughs> oh, yeah. I definitely remember that. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was during a Disney Dreamlight Valley stream. Phil takes Derek to a Chinese restaurant, yes. and they eat delicious dim sum. Yes. Then Phil surprises him with a big birthday cake. Derek invites his friends, Lil Shake and Bake, Blastoise91, Roby Petzos, Only Iced Coffee, Cheetah Man, Slayer, and Jade. They all eat, eat, and have fun for the rest of the night. Oh my god, a birthday party with all my friends? This is great, thank you, Phil. This is Derek terrible. had the best birthday ever. You see, the whole time DSP worries about- <laughs> And that about... is real. That is real. That was made by a DSP fan. Okay, link me that, because I'm putting that in my DSP video. Got it. You're on <laughs> it. Uh, on, yeah. on top of this, DSP has his weekly react show, and people had submitted this so he can watch it and say, you know, happy birthday, Derek, and all that stuff. And the dude oh, was no dodging way it. Watch this. There no, no, no way, no. He didn't. He made up excuses about, like, I can't find it in my email. Derek, I can't find it. <laughs> oh, God. I, dude. It's, yeah. I don't know. This is like one of the greatest things that's happened in DSP <laughs> history. It's just that right level of retarded. Dude, I like, did see like a clip yeah. of this and I thought it was something detractors made to rip no. on Derek. So exactly. I kind of like wrote it off. But now that I know the lore, it just makes it 10 times better. Yeah. It's, and it's the like a real whole Derek. fan fiction. The it's real the re Derek provided the, the voice acting for this one, for, for the character Derek in it. You couldn't tell. <laughs> for the character. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that. Derek that was the Disney Dream Light Valley most stream. challenging role. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It will challenge you. <laughs> it will break new barriers in cinema. <laughs> oh my god, dude! And uh, let's not forget. Okay, let's see this documentary happens. What are we gonna do? Is Mike Combs gonna play that? Here's some stuff that the the DSP fans have made. You know, detractors make videos every fucking day. Let's see what the DSP fans have made. <laughs> this was fun, chill, and positive. Oh God, yeah, hell yeah, dude! Come on, and <laughs> meaningful more than oh, anything oh, else. Oh yes, Absolutely. definitely. <laughs> this has brought new meaning into my life specifically. <laughs> I'm probably gonna play it again later. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, Sam. Next message. That was fun, though. Thanks for that, okay. uh, Stephen Hawking. Good luck to you, brother. Okay. Well, I really like the name on this one. So here is uh, number one, Clum Slut. Ah, my favorite. <laughs> Speaking of Derek's. Oh, I'm gone. Anyway. <laughs> Turn your go. mic on. First, RIP, uh, Gone But Not Forgotten. This whole thing could have been pretty interesting and somewhat entertaining, but uh, Filippo, Dave Bennett, he had to ruin it, Mr. Spank himself. Like It would have been pretty interesting to see uh, Bennett waddle to the store waddle down the down the hallway mm -hmm. with like the sad wwe music playing with vince mcmahon's so, like just cut off just just cut it off um yeah he just had to kind of ruin it and then him saying we've worked on all this stuff like motherfucker what what have you worked on like oh what exactly have you worked on <laughs> in, in regards to this documentary cleaning your office like him acting like he's done all this work when in reality he's done jack shit. Um, but yeah, but shout out to them finessing dinner out of my cum though. Uh, oh, that, was cool. oh, that was cool. <laughs> Forgot the L. Uh, and this, like I said, I, I'm just man, it would have been funny to see this happen, but it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Uh, that's all I gotta say. Uh, stop making fun of ALT, he's not old. Thank you. Um, yeah. Yong out. Yeah. <laughs> we got a yong out sign out. I love that. See, him yeah. saying about the, uh, him going on about the, the work he's putting in. I, I got, I, cause I obviously missed, you know, a couple of months. Um, I, I listened, I listened to a clip. I think it was a duty clip from like three weeks ago <clears throat> about the, uh, DSP throwback and, um, him saying that like uh, going over all the work that's gone into it and talking about like 
uh, specifically the four hours of work per video mm. and him kind of like muddy in the waters of who's like doing this work. Because he, he's, you know, he he does, to be fair to him, he does go, he does sort of thank the people that are doing it. But at the same time, he kind of, you know, it's Phil that, you know, he's putting a lot of work into this. Mm-hmm. And he, he, he makes it sound like someone's sitting there for four hours, like actually manually doing some work. And, and I think the four hours is literally just someone like it's, it's rendering this AI upscaling thing is rendering a video for four hours. I think that's all it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's all it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, Gundam, do you different. know about the, the DSP throwback channel? Oh, I heard, about heard that? of it. Uh, someone, I saw a meme where it showed DSP holding his back and it said throwback. And I thought that was really <laughs> yeah. creative of DSP <laughs> that to do right. that. <laughs> Very brave. <laughs> so, it, yes. Yeah. That, that yeah. whole thing is him just um, giving a bunch of people that work for him for free some. Um, uh, basically video files from like 2010 where he played a bunch of old games and they get to upscale it and remaster it for him and he uploads and it on the channel anything bad yes so on that point good big uh-huh. up so dsp <laughs> revealed last week that he finally edited out a joke he edited out one of the only jokes uh that's ever been edited so uh sam could you please play out play the uh i guess let's play the edited one first and Watch please out, play he's black <laughs> <laughs> no, no, those all stay in. You'll oh. be sh- you, you, just wait to see what he decided to cut out. Go ahead, Sam. I play gotta it. see play this. It. Yes, okay. yes, please yeah, play it. Yeah. Just audio. This, yeah. this is censored. This is censored. Seriously, boys. where were all these fucking video is going? Video is going. Video is going. Video is going. Video is still going. Video is still going. <laughs> just wait. We'll get there. Unacceptable. <laughs> That's it. Now, really, dude? Now, could you please play the joke, Sam? This for the, the director's cut. Puzzle. Director's cut. Is. Yes. He thought it was lost. Lost media. Here we go. <laughs> Seriously, where were all these fucking hot ass teachers to have sex with kids when I was a kid? They didn't have no sex with children when I was a fucking kid, man. Hell yeah. Now they have to wait till now. Like the children today deserve fucking free sex. That's bullshit. <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> The king of hate. Yes. Uh, so, so big ups. Phil was complaining about the lack of free sex for children back then. Uh, but I want to sp- point out, like, okay, so you want to cut that out. That's neither here nor there. But some other jokes he left in were jokes such as, "Wow, Dude, that, that was girl's wild a- even yeah. for 2010." That's what I thought. But <laughs> he also left in jokes such as, "Wow, that girl's on the ground. Let's take her shirt off." Those stay in. <laughs> that would, yeah. Well, so like, she's what's... an of age female. Uh, I'm hoping. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let me tell you something, brother. Yes. Uh, if you watch the actual video, you might notice that this joke is right at the beginning of the video. Ah. And something that I'm sure Gundam can confirm is that on YouTube, if you're a very naughty boy, right at oh, the yes. start of the video, that shit's gonna get flagged and that shit's gonna get demonetized. So the only reason he censored himself, despite having a disclaimer that this content is from a bygone era, is just so he can put ads on the video. Yeah. And so <laughs> he thought, or his editor thought, that uh-huh. the best way of working around this was to literally put in nearly 10 seconds of dead air instead of doing anything more creative, like maybe getting the background music and just, you know, overlaying it under there or something like that. No, nope, just 10 seconds of silence. Done. Move on. No, no. What's even worse than that is why does he say, play the beginning, please. Just the beginning. Uh, last time. That's when he hears the, the beginning. Who chooses version. to cut this? Yeah, just the beginning oh. of the uh, the censored one. Okay. Yeah. Seriously, where were all these fucking... Oh, yeah. Like, I see what you yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that the best place to cut it? I mean, is no. that... <laughs> this whole thing is wild. Yes. Like, who... The editing sounds like it's ass backwards. Why not just, <laughs> just cut, cut the entire segment? Just cut the and whole start thing. Yeah. From where it's at. yeah. I, this is... I, I can't claim to have watched one of these, to be honest. Oh, you're Sorry. Um, but they are, from the sounds of it, literally these 10 seconds, sorry, 10 minute video files just back to back, aren't they? There's nothing more creative to it no, than that. No, no, no. That's why then. Well, they are it, working you know, for free, so. Well, there is that, yeah. But yeah, yeah the indent- indentured servants. Yeah. So he wants basically the whole 10 minutes from each one putting out with, you know, with nothing <laughs> lost, I guess. But um, 
I, it was an opportunity though the the to hear the difference because not only is the video getting ai upscaled they're also doing this uh echo removal um oh. and i was interested to hear what that was that entailed and if you listen to the censored one and the uncensored you can hear like it 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 sounds like terrible like obviously he's just in a room away from his camera so there's going to be a bit of echo but i would rather it just be that than this weird like you can hear the filter like cutting in and out to cut the ends of the like the tails of the room echo off it's really bad here you go i'll play it again yeah, you yeah, can yeah. Hear it. seriously where were all these fucking hot ass teachers to have oh, sex sorry that's the that's the best yeah so <laughs> that's the children's the, the, yes they, it's, yeah it's like a it's like a gate as an amish Fist, that doesn't even fishing. feel like much of a joke. It's more of like a statement or lamenting, to be honest. Oh, lamenting. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. He didn't get laid. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, he's taking a stance against all those sexless kids nowadays, man. They could really use some. Especially Back in if it's my a day. Teacher. You, can, you can even get a good grade, dude. Come on. You, you Back get when I was coming dip. up, we jerked off with magazines. We didn't even get the pictures. <laughs> We'd imagine but it. All right. To be fair, he got the work that he paid for, and he paid nothing for this. Ah, so anything right. he's got, you got to be, you know, happy with it. Yeah. It's all upswing. And literally, yep. like someone questioned him. They said uh, in his, I think it was last night. Said, "How much are you paying the people that are doing the editing for you?" Ban straight get away. The, get that ass ban. We got time for that bullshit. DSP yes, pays him in exposure. You goon. <laughs> <laughs> no, not even that. Because if he pays him an exposure, then if he gives him a shout out, then people are gonna harass him, dude. So he doesn't pay him in any way, not even a shout out. He gives anonymous shout outs. Shout outs for those people that work on my stuff. You know who you are. Yeah. The people that make the dream a reality. They're the shadow yeah. enders. The shadow. Oh yeah. Plan. Speaking of which, uh, thank you yeah. for featuring my song on your stream, Gundam. Big ups. Oh I yeah, no big it, deal. Big ups, dude. Awesome. Uh, Barrett Wells in the house says, it's like watching a DSP debunk stream. He doesn't react enough during this react streams and reacts too much to throwback. Yep. Well, I mean, let's not talk about DSP react. I guess, how much do you know about the Argentina nonsense, Gundam? We should talk about that, well, too. I do know that uh, people have been using VPNs to bypass something or other to get stuff on the cheap because the Argentinian peso is so devalued, it's not even funny. Yes. I think, like... A thousand USD or fifteen hundred dollars USD is a million Argentinian pesos. Yes. So when Phil is saying he's getting nothing, he probably isn't. Oh yeah, he's definitely not. But he could. Oh, yeah. say, like that's cool. Like I, it's cool to bitch about that. But you can't say it's an exploit, right? You can't say YouTube yeah. needs to get their shit together because this is kind of expected behavior. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, poor Philbert. Uh huh. Um, but he went on wait. some massive fucking rants on that yesterday. Sam, hit, hit us with something. You got something. I'm ready for this. a rant. Yes. It's rant 30. <laughs> do I have a rant? I don't know if I actually have a rant. What do you got from stream What do you got from do the you know, pre-stream? Just hit it. From yesterday's pre-stream, uh, I'm more focusing on, imagine this was an actual podcast that you listened to. Okay. And uh, yeah, right. We'll, we'll start at the beginning. Here we go. If you give me a minute, I'm just going to run downstairs and grab my wallet. I want to update my payment information and I want to get Tekken 8 preloaded. I have my PS5 on right now because we're going to play Baldur's Gate. That way we can get that done for Friday. And later tonight when I play Sea of Stars, that's when I'll get Like a Dragon. So give me a sec. I'm just going to mute the mic, run, grab my wallet, come back, and then we'll uh, we'll do that. Okay. Ten minutes know. of dead air later, he comes <laughs> back. And this is what? Uh, how, many, how many minutes into the stream was this? I think this was ten minutes into the stream, something like that. Um, and he fucks off for 10 minutes, yep. goes to get his wallet just so that he can preload a game on the uh -huh. day before his day off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do it. No, would you just do it live yeah, for a game he's not going to play till after his day off? That's yeah. the key point, yeah, right, guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he wants to be ready, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Very so, chill, very chill. oh no, sorry, I shouldn't, yeah, six minutes he was gone for, yes, yeah, so um, okay, and then. He comes back and we get this. Couldn't believe it. I went to get my wallet and there were three followers of the Absolute down there blocking my way. And then I had to summon the whole party. And you know how long it takes to do turn-based combat in this game. So it was like a nightmare to get through that fight. But I finally got through it. And now I'm back. Anyway. There we go. So, yeah. It's, it's a nice cringe Holy joke. I'll just, I'm just going to drive... I'm just going to power through this just because yes, I'm, I'm ahead, not going to get another chance to play all this shit. But, yeah. Uh, so, randomly, you go, you know... 50 minutes of the stream, normal, you know, probably about to do a schedule or something, just randomly out of nowhere. Uh, so here we go. And I need to look at 
what is outdated here? Oh no, sorry. This is this is earlier on. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. This is a little bit of. Uh... This also takes ten minutes, by the way. Him pre-ordering <laughs> the game, and it's yeah. just this is the podcast. This is yeah, the this content. Is, this uh, is the best bit for me. Find the right card. <laughs> I'm looking from a bank card. You gotta Where be careful, it? though. Give him that. He's gotta be oh, very here. careful. He was here all along. He was right in front of me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So Imagine gotta... sitting and listening okay. to this, like on the way it's to still work. Awesome or podcast, something. dude. This is like Joe Rogan. Watch out, dude. Oh man, I gotta hear Phil by Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to miss this. <laughs> I hope there aren't any bugs in the PlayStation. Oh, oh my god. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> this is this is by the way the most eventful thing that's gonna happen for the next 10 minutes and then <laughs> guess what happens he goes back downstairs to yeah. leave his wallet that's, we that's can't what, continue with the stream i'd forgotten that's that's what i thought this next one was um yeah, yeah. so so here we go this is 50 yes, minutes please. into the stream just randomly out of nowhere so real quick i'm gonna run downstairs and put my wallet back because I, I don't want to forget and leave it in here um <laughs> During Man, the I show, I want to tell my wife about Tekken that we could play it tomorrow. That's gonna be cool. Bro. And then we got news to do. We got news. Oh god, tonight, it's already twelve fifteen. Oh no! What the fuck? It's already this 12 is the 15. best. I guess we're not doing news today. I had a bunch of news stories saved up, but I guess we can't do it. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> Get fucked. So Get fucked, fuck listeners. News. I got news. So I got this was... Twitter trending. Go ahead. <laughs> this was uh, so. This was a further four minutes. So. 10 minutes of his stream was wasted I'm dying. With, was just the chair with no audio at all um mm -hmm. so we could put his wallet back though that's the weirdest thing like this is similar to the um the the dunce laws where he's where he like put them away just you know but Randomly. for this but look, there's no reason for this other than just to kill time so Literally. bizarre yeah i, I want to forget the podcast the oh god yes <laughs> come on level 1 dude <laughs> we hate it but it's Definitely the most exciting thing that he does on a daily it's basis. It's better than fucking gameplay. I mean, that's yeah. <laughs> like the podcast is where you get all your gold dust. And if you yes. don't get in the gold dust, yeah. it's kind of over. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, he knows it too, though. He fucking knows it. That's why he fucking stalls and he hates games now. Like, he doesn't want to play any fucking games. I mean, that's the worst. So yeah. he'll fucking, he'll leave you with six minutes at the, at like the chair. Like, if he hates empty. games, why does he do something else? Yeah. What is he going to do? Because he's talk. trying and it constantly keeps flopping. He tried to do the React channel. Oh my god, we're gonna talk about that because the membership thing completely fucked up the whole channel. Oh yeah, he, I he saw tried that. to do the throwback. He tried to do Reacts. It all just fucking flops. It doesn't work. And his gaming stuff doesn't even work anymore. So the only thing people are actually tuning in for is the stupid podcast because he might say something stupid. Okay, I got something. I got. I got something to pitch. If right. you're out there, Dark Side Phil, Phil Listen fans. Up. Fucking get DSP to get shit faced drunk like King Cobra. Have him like mix <laughs> drinks and whatnot. I tune in for that. I'm I mean, sure he, he would yeah. love it, but yes. remember the last time he got drunk and he started using like homophobic slurs? I'm in for it. <laughs> that was many that years was a, ago, right? Yeah, that was I, such I don't a even know. If, I don't even know if he was drunk back then. Nowadays, whenever he gets tipsy, which is around uh, Christmas. But yes. you know what? He started charging people for shots, and then yeah. eventually people just stopped paying. So he just stopped taking shots. So it's just like a, a dude who really wants to... Yeah, he is, it's a dude who really wants to get drunk, but people not paying him enough, so he just doesn't get drunk instead. There's a guy called I Show Blades or something. Only, only use me blade. Only use me blade. Mm -hmm. I watched him get absolutely smashed. By the end of the stream, <laughs> he was so drunk, he was using racial slurs. Oh he God, he so... says it endless. He just says it endlessly. He, he I watched this shit. Yeah, he's funny. He's very funny. But he, he, dude, he's trying to get over alcoholism because he lost his girlfriend and shit. But he just raised his tip go high enough, so he's like, no one's gonna do this. But it was two hundred fifty dollars. But people know that when they do it, he drinks an entire bottle of Jägermeister. So he's like, all right, so two fifty, I'll do it. And he, he, he is, is people are literally killing him on stream though. Cause oh yeah. He, and he'll drink a whole bottle in an hour, and then it's just lights out. But it's it's it, you know you you got to keep watching though. You know, like, you like can't turn he away. can't even lift his neck. So no. like he was laid out like cat. He's like dead, <laughs> and he's like just calling everybody the n word till the police show up, and they're like beating down the glass window to get in, and he's calling them the n word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's been 
been banned on like everything possible. He constantly used the N-word. It, it just and also he had the toe problem. He was gonna lose a fucking toe. <laughs> yeah, you ever see that picture of his toe? Prime it's like time television. Yeah, it's like I'm not pick, we're not showing that. But his fucking toe was lose losing it, not gangrene, I think. It was like diabetes problem. It had but, to yeah. be black, right? Yeah, black. Yeah, it was the yeah, blackest. The, yeah. It's over. <laughs> he's gonna lose yeah. a foot. Yeah. They're gonna so. make Blaze cut off his own leg. <laughs> this is on, this one of those oh, yeah. that you see on the internet that you're trying to unsee and just uh -huh. make it like a concealed memory. It's kind of like Pro Jared's dick. Everybody who's been around uh, the the Pro Jared saga knows when yeah. when the shit dropped. Thank and you God I missed it. Ah, oh, man, because you, you, you got to you. see that motherfucker dressed up as Sailor Moon, his dick That's flopping That's as far out. as I got. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a visual you just want to beat out of your head, man. You, oh, you, just you gotta get rid of that. Pro Jared though, he was feeling his oats. Uh -huh. Like he was taking those photos and he felt sexy as shit. I oh, wish yeah. I had that yeah. faith in myself. <laughs> There's a confidence there when you're that spread eagle and just proud of it. I'm pro Jared, motherfuckers. Enjoy. You know, that's something, dude. I see you want to see my penis. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, 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 abort. Move on. Abort. Yeah, abort. Uh, let's let's play some messages, guys. Pro Jared talk. <laughs> Who's else? Right. Who's left? All right, you go ahead. Well, just to finish up this thing on yesterday, just I'll, yes, please. this will be last the last time. of the, the clips. This just was more for my own amusement. Um, this is I'm probably one of the it. funniest things I think I've heard him say in a while. It might just be me, but here we go. Okay, cool. All right. Um. So that's what we got so far. I just shouted out all the contributions we have already today. So, again, if anything else comes in, um, <laughs> please, thank you. Uh, like I said right now, I hope a lot of people down at the end of the month. I'm hoping that things will actually pick up a bit to make up for the, all the lost revenue I got from this membership debacle. I found it so Goodbye, funny guys. because he really reminded me of... Does anyone remember Sol Rosenberg from the uh, Jerky Boys? The oh, guy that, yes. Yeah, he reminded... Well, here we go. He sounds like this. Thank you, please. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the voice I used when I left uh, DSP as side scrollers message. Oh, it's uh, oh, what's yeah. it called? Yucca the, cl Yucca the Clown. Save a little bit more money. I'm a little low, and Cat's very hungry. I hate when she's hungry because she's very malnourished. And she said she loves some DoorDash, and Jasper needs more litter. Only iced coffee can't carry the street by itself, you guys. <laughs> please, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to keep um, using that. Please, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> please, thank you. <laughs> Double. Do you guys uh, have a clip where DSP doesn't get money for like a solid couple minutes? It was on Twitter today, and he goes, "I'm a little worried, you guys. I haven't uh, seen any contributions. I usually get one by now." And, oh, uh, that's well, like that's common. Go ahead, though. I'll try to find it. Do you do you mean the one where he thought his PayPal wasn't working, so he's like, oh, "I'm like sorry, that. guys. I'm I'm a little paranoid right now." Oh, yeah. And then somebody <laughs> sent him a tip to test PayPal, and then his paranoia went away. <laughs> Okay. So oh, the, on, on the membership thing, we have a development in the last couple of days. Uh -oh. So his fix. So here's the deal on the yes. uh, on, on the DSP reacts channel. People pay to send him a video to react to as stupid as that might that might sound uh -huh. uh, because it is nowadays. Of course, we got the Argentinian connection that keeps sending him hundreds and hundreds of gifted memberships for like two dollars each or whatever. Pennies and, on the peso. <laughs> exactly. So what happened? His solution is to make your re uh, his regular members pay two dollars more and somehow convince them that that that's actually good for them. So what he did was raise the price of the tier that makes you submit videos to like six dollars. So now you get you to pay six dollars. Because I love how Phil sells it. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know if we have that one. Yeah, that's I, I actually it. do, yeah. I've sweet, got this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one is yesterday. prime. I production. Get, this guy's Hope, a salesman. Hopefully this is the right bit. I'm assuming it is. Here we go. I want to give a humongous shout this out. This is very long, Power. by the way. Last night, he was he was researching YouTube memberships, and he found the solution. And I was like, this is perfect, and I can't believe I didn't know about this. There was no way I could have known about it, because the thing is, the only way you would have known about this solution is if you were a member of a channel <clears throat> already, you were a paying member, and you were messing around with membership levels, okay? So here's oh, the solution. Wow. Okay. On YouTube, if you are already an existing member of any channel at mm. any level, and you want to upgrade to a higher level, YouTube gives you 
a prorated upgrade discount. Oh, I didn't I love know the that snort. at <laughs> Thank all. You. Okay. So the way it works is, for example, let's say you're already a member on DSP mm -hmm. React at the $3.99 standard member level. Well, if I do a new level now, oh. all you have to pay is the difference between the two. And then you get that oh. next level for a month. Oh I God. didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> so basically, instead of having to cancel standard memberships, cancel super memberships, make new member tiers, convince mm. everyone to move from one tier to the other mm. and do this big process of moving that was going to be a nightmare. All mm. I needed to do was make a new membership tier that was priced above $5. So that way it cannot be gifted out by the trolls and just tell everyone <laughs> you have to be part of that group in order to nominate clips. And that's it. So that's what I've done. As of this morning, I've created a new membership tier on DSP Reacts. It is called the Submissions Tier. It costs $5.99 in order ah, to become part of it. If you are already cool. a standard member, like many of you are right now, because you either were already paying or you got a gifted membership in the last week, it costs you $2 to upgrade. That's it. Two bucks. <laughs> and you get the membership for the whole month. Okay? Whoa. So a $2 upgrade gets you the ability to nominate clips for the show <laughs> moving forward. And then that's for a whole month. So essentially, you as the viewer get a oh. discount for the next month. Oh. It would be four bucks. Now Hold you only on have to pay two. <laughs> what? So you get a discount. Because you already paid How's the four. That? That's crazy, right? The thing is, that's I'm going to take a hit. Hang on. Uh oh. Because all those people <laughs> that would have been paying four dollars are now only going to be paying two for the next month. So I'm going to take like a 50% income hit on the oh. reacts for the next month. Shit. And there's nothing Son I can do about bitch. it. That's directly because of this idiot troll. Okay? Uh <laughs> Oh god. Sorry. Dude, legit. God. That was unedited by the way. Apologies for that. This uh and, and I think the the visuals also give you a great picture of how much he's trying to sell this to you cuz during this segment, he was so he was literally like a, a used car salesman. It's like some it's like a guy that you haven't seen in like 10 years, and he reaches out to you, you meet up, and he's trying to sell you a pyramid scheme. That's the, yeah. the same shit he, he did. Let me tell you, no, that's what I said uh, earlier. I think he got picked up this trait when he walked into the BMW dealership. And he said before he left on stream, I'm going to cancel my lease and not get any more car. I'm going to get another car when I get to Seattle. What does he do? He goes in there, cancels his lease, cancels his lease, and walks out with another lease. I think yeah. he picked up those sales traits there. I mean, that guy must have taught him something, dude. He's a car salesman. Come on. <laughs> So the whole the, the the whole two dollar discount thing doesn't make any sense on pretty much any level because he's trying to make it seem like it's a huge benefit, but those people have already paid the what was it four ninety nine three ninety nine uh -huh. whatever. So it's not really a discount them having to pay more to get the same benefits. But actually, there's an added benefit. Now Ooh. you get to ask him a question for the Q and A. Oh my god! Unlike Bless any you. other day anyway, where you can just tag him in chat. This Bill is, is passing cool. on the savings to you. <laughs> by now, right now, he's going to lose 50% of his shirt, but you're going to get all the benefits and you can ask the question and stick it to the trolls. What do you That's say? Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I mean, I, w I really want to know if he's ever punched a bee, so I might ask that. I mean, I, might... <laughs> I, <laughs> I, mean... I wish the documentary was happening just so we could like have an inside view of the house while DSP sells this sort of shit. Yeah, that yes. would be so much fun, man. I, I just really want to see how that house looks like right now. Because from all the stories of everything breaking down in it, it, he makes it seem like it's a crack house or something like that. Like there's <laughs> there's piles of trash in the garage that have been sitting there for months until he decides to take out a, a little bit of it to the dump. There's like the cables. Home run. There's a name yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah the, the styrofoam run. Uh, <laughs> there we got the the office where everything is just covered in dust and cables. We got the bathrooms and the showers that are all fucked up. It's just like the way he describes the house is just like it's like Resident Evil level of dilapidated. Resident Evil 7. He has like two other bathrooms left for the one that's going to shit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Good point. We he just moved poison. to another bathroom. <laughs> Admitted to having cat poison on the ground for one year. Whoa, but don't whoa, worry. Hold on. It wasn't yeah. cat poison. Oh, sorry, it was ant poison. Ant poison. Sorry, 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 and sorry. cats do not like sweets, ALT. <laughs> thank you, thank so you, it was thank cool. You, thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> I forgot. Cats uh, hate sweet. Quote, cats hate sweet. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I say uh, Jasper goes to when he wants to get a little lit on the weekends. He'll take a few licks, you know, <laughs> feeling good. Oh, yeah. Take a few bumps. Party. Yeah. He'll take a few the bumps. cat does a few bumps of ant poison. It's like a urinary <laughs> tract infection. Starts running around the house. <laughs> He's going crazy, cat. <laughs> Oh God, I don't know right. what's wrong with Jasper, honey, but the air poison's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we needed Mike Klum to get a video of. You know, that's what we want. <laughs> I think it's you know, I think it's the sixty frames. <laughs> yeah, oh, the sixty frames. Yeah, holy shit, man. Yeah, he said sixty frames make his cat go wild. Gundam, did you hear that? <laughs> He said the 60, literally he said this. I'm not making up a word of this. The 60 frames can th make Jasper get a little uneasy, I think was the word he used, right? Uneasy? Was it? I forget the exact word now. <laughs> oh, God. Thank God the cat has great eyesight. Uh huh. <laughs> they really care about TV animation frames. But, you know, if the uh, documentary was going to go on, I damn near came close to offering to help Mike Klum film it. And pretend to be just yes. one of his workers because technically <laughs> oh my god Dude, i am a, a cameraman on the side and i have thousands of dollars of camera gear so i would have easily blended but yeah, i doubt you have no clue before. do you I happen have, to he... have uh, some kind of an insider knowledge w that you're allowed to share with the public something you uh, talked about with mike with mike no but i've heard some stuff that i don't know if i'm allowed to say outside Ah. I'd have to ask questions. Okay. Like, mm. can I say this without stepping yeah, on toes? Don't do, and really... That's kind of dumb. Yeah. Um, uh, do you, how about your um? <laughs> uh, what was it? Fuck, I forgot what I was going to ask. I played on the tell you the message. I'll think about it. Fuck. Okay. Right. Senior moment. I know people are gonna say senior moment. Shut the fuck up. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's At this point, from... not even senior, just straight up senile. Uh huh. Yeah, senile. Uh huh. It happens. You get older. You forget things. It's all yeah. the drugs you did in your youth. Mm -hmm. yeah, there, sure. there you go. He's well aware. <laughs> it was worth it. it I was, was a drinker. I was a drinker. But the, the gin got me. Go ahead. All right. that cat poison. <laughs> we're doing licks of cat poison at festivals. Uh, hooking up liquor. with all these young girls in the 1930s. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's a good time. They I didn't do have love OnlyFans sweet. back then. As opposed to Jasper, I love sweet. So I was all about that ant poison. All right, come on. Play it. Play, play yeah. it. All right. Hopefully something. <laughs> Something different here from Swaggy yes. Davis Jr. Big ups, everyone. Glad to see most of the Fantastic Four is back. Wishing Steve a speedy recovery in his journey from back pain. Um, I have a quick little thing to kind of get your guys' idea on. Um, with all the appointments that Phil's been talking about, do you think it has to do with him and Kat having medical issues because I don't want to solely blame it on all the DoorDash that they order on a daily basis. I want to lean it more towards a possible medical issue for the both of them with Kat having some kind of issues with her medication that causes her weight to go up substantially. And with Phil, him losing all this weight, I'm leaning more towards a medical kind of thing. So I just want to know what your guys' take is on that. Sorry if I word it wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, big ups, guys, and have a great day. Eh, Thank you, who brother. Knows, you know? Yeah, who knows? Who knows? You know, could be. There's there's something he can't tell us about. Remember that one? That's another reason. A major factor. I can't do this documentary, dude. It's one major factor I can't talk about right now. So who knows what the fact That's just the keeping us the next saga in the back pocket when tips yeah. go low he got a, he pulls it right out you know what i'm saying that's what that is so is it health very well could be but could be health with phil but honestly i think what happened with cat is uh you know them just sitting on their ass and eating doordash regularly just piling on the calories and yep. remember the treadmill they couldn't build it so the only thing they could have fought back those pounds was immediately ousted out of the house within 24 hours because Phil yep. couldn't put it together. <laughs> that is sad, man. When you can't uh -huh. put together a goddamn treadmill, dude. That is just Jesus Christ. <laughs> and we heard about their lovely activities together. Oh, watching... what are those? No, oh, oh, you want to hear? Well, wait. Okay, yes. Hold on. We might have to. The show might have to be extended here because it's a long list. I'll get it ready though. Okay, here it is. <laughs> <clears throat> the activities they do together are 
watch non-narrative TV shows. Okay. Ah. Next, watch other streamers play games, usually hot guys. <laughs> and before going to sleep, they do 30 minutes of jazz music. And that's the end of the list. So, I mean, pretty cool, right? <laughs> Bro. Okay. So, they're... The cat gained weight because there's zero activity going on. She, she yes. is felt like a streamer cuck. Like she makes him watch successful, good looking male streamers. Yep. <laughs> wow, it, dude. You know, I mean, people regularly think that it's just him hate watching on him and she's just watching him for the content because they're just better streamers than Phil. So it, it does make a lot of sense. But from their QA, you can gather that they just live on the path of least resistance. Whatever the mm -hmm. fuck is easy. They got a yeah. cat because it's easy to have a cat. A cat they, without front claws. Uh -huh. Even easier, because they, they easy. can't fuck up your uh, furniture. <laughs> exactly. <you know? laughs> yeah. Also, remember, why is cat's hair short? Because it's easy. That's what you yep. said there herself. I mean, everything is easy. Everything is as easy as possible. Well, gotta get I food, guess when you pack DoorDash. on that type of weight, man, getting behind, your hands behind your head to wash your hair, that's gotta be a pain in the ass. Oh. Yeah. No comment. No comment. It's true. But this is this is the thing though, like like and and there was gonna be a like a sort of semi professional camera crew filming this. I love the idea that like they were gonna have to make up activities to make this interesting, this Mike Clum thing. Like surely, yeah. you know, because what I mean, yes, we would have found it fascinating to literally just watch him go and buy stuff from a supermarket, but like <laughs> Like I said, whatever it was now, you know, when it got announced. Uh, and Imagine it the uh, bathtub scene like Boogie. Oh, God. That's, what, that's what I mean. There's, there's there's nothing like that that you can really do with him. And if, if you're trying to do anything like that stuff, it's basically a lie because he doesn't he doesn't go out. He doesn't do anything. He listens to music and and watches streams and that's it. And maybe goes to the shops, you know. And, yeah. Did, or, or trip to the dump. What Internet went out. He said, "What are we gonna do? The internet's out. We oh, can't yeah, spend any time together." That was a fucking wild one, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? What do we? What can we do? The internet's out. What's wrong with you? Yeah. yeah. What, what, what the fuck's wrong with you? Are doing you stupid? Stuff? We're gonna spend time <laughs> together, you fool. <laughs> Gundam, asshole. are you are you familiar with the Comcast saga? Because that oh, shit yeah. is interesting. Oh yeah, as hell. the Comcast saga. Well. <laughs> DSP gets trolled by a Comcast worker. Get out of here, uh -huh. Fluffy. You work for Comcast. <laughs> get it, Fluffy. Get, get the, I'll put the air poison out, Fluffy. But uh, do you know what sweet. they actually did to him? That was very funny. <laughs> Tell me, baby. So they were practically one of the first things is they were kind of shutting down his stream on command. I was yes. watching that shit live and it was buffering every 20 seconds. Man, that shit was crazy. Then... The person, the alleged person that works for Comcast that messed with him, changed his network names. His, oh, yeah, you know, the Panda Lee was hotter. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was the that best was, one. Oh, could you imagine if Kat saw that? Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> well, she kind of had to. If she was using the internet inside the house, she would have to connect to it so she would see it. Because every time the name gets changed, you need to log in again. Uh, and finally, they tried to block... Um, such websites like Twitter and YouTube in the block mm -hmm. list in the control yep. panel, but that didn't work out because it was badly made. Yes. It's just a weird thing. Like, <laughs> the sad like thing is, I yeah. do know that, but I totally forgot because there's so much dumb shit going. Mm -hmm. It's like a never-ending wheelbarrow falling down the road. <laughs> <laughs> By the time one saga ends, another begins. Oh, yep, oh yep. it's Mike Clum. I forgot all about Comcast. Now Comcast is over. Cat has diabetes. The next yeah. saga. Tax it's season. Just... Tax season. <laughs> Writers on fire right now. Really going yeah. hot. Great season so far. And I think that the starting point for all this, this, this frequency of madness was side scrollers, I think. That was like last year now. I that mean, it was just... the beginning of the downfall. Yes. Yeah. And ever since then, it's been saga after saga. Holy shit. Or we man. could say it started with Moist Critical. I still that, have the clip of too. DSP. Trying like hell to get Moist Critical to pay him attention. It was like uh -huh. that episode of Seinfeld where George Costanza was trying to hang out with like Tony. And he's like, Let's go rock climbing, Tony. I'll make sandwiches. Moist, yeah. you know, I could come on your show. We could talk. We could shoot the shit. You know, be like regular guys. It'd be really funny. I'm like, we, What the yeah. fuck are you doing, Phil? Dude, mm. Phil said this exact word because I made that stupid video about it. He said, 
just give me a, if you want to talk, man, just give me a call, man. Even if you want to just laugh for five minutes. Yeah, like fucking got a full blown man crush, man. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I think I think if Steve was was here, I think he would have to point out that this actually started with a dream. That's ah, what it started. Yes, yeah. the dream, the dream yeah. that gave him the idea for the interview. Yes, yeah. correct. What? Uh, it started with a dream. Yeah. Yes. Dude, yeah. Yes. That, was, that that got this whole thing in motion. He he started up a stream one day and had a big kind of announcement or whatever, or had to tell this important story where he dreamt that, what did he dream? That someone so, interviewed him or whatever? <laughs> I can't remember. I, the, I can't even fucking remember now. At, at like 3 a.m., this dude posts on Twitter and says like, I have oh, yeah. a huge announcement for tomorrow. I'm like very excited, whatever, whatever. He shows up on stream and he has like a 20 minute build up to saying, I want to be interviewed. And then people start lining up to interview him. And I guess <laughs> Mr. Craig was the guy who won, even yeah. though there was such other people, you know, prominent YouTubers like um, Gamer from Mars, that guy. He Mudahar. wanted to interview Phil. I was going to uh, say Mudahar as well. Presumably that's when that happened. Yeah. yeah. I could say Mudahar. like the Budahar thing, I was in the mix for that. Oh, nice. The like, DSP had no idea. Like the second he showed up, Damn. boom, I was going to be on his ass, like out of Fuck. nowhere. Hey, Philbert, it's me. I just would have loved to see his face. Is that Yucko the Clown? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Dude, remember though? Um, also, and since then now, Phil was baited into that interview. He was oh, goaded. Yeah, excuse me. Right. Goaded into the interview. That was, He was definitely goaded. The throat goat. That was total revisionist history. Uh -huh. But I got to oh, say, absolutely. how did Phil not learn from Dr. Martin Luther King? A dream can kill you, baby. He should have kept that one to himself. <laughs> I mean, DSP's dream was nowhere as meaningful as MLK, but still, man, that According dream... to you, that dream <laughs> changed DSP's life, though. That's it, it pretty much worst. did. I would, I would go as far as to say that Keemstar was the one to actually push the first domino into the midlife crisis saga that Ooh. we're witnessing now. Because Keemstar, whenever Keemstar declared that he was uh, retiring a couple of years ago, DSP made Oh, yeah, that's made a... it, fell over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, he he made a a, a brief little snarky response on one of his gameplay streams, and then it got clipped and it got sent to Keemstar. Then Keemstar yeah. went cowboy on his ass, and mm -hmm. the next day DSP had a brand new podcast layout, and he called it the Level One Podcast because <laughs> yeah. it definitely doesn't get to him. I think all of this just proves what we were saying before: how there's always a saga that's lined up. Because you could probably go back another step, like a further domino, and say, "Well, uh -huh. this is actually what happened going. to cause him to say that thing, and this is what happened before that to make him say, you know." And you just keep going and going and going. It doesn't end. But the magic of DSP is most people, when they get beef with someone, they kind of like, "All right, it kind of naturally ends, and that's it." DSP changes his life with that beef, right? So LTG, I mean, uh, fucking um, Keemstar said level one. You're, you're still on level one, Phil. You're on level one. All right, level one podcast. LTG says his clothes look like shit. What happens after that? Whole Get wardrobe change. Up. Yeah, Get what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he just shows that, yes, what you said, I take that advice and I will change my life thanks to what you said, person I had beef with. Very Before cool. Before you knew it, DSP was in a woman's cardigan. I got to say, I didn't see it coming. <laughs> That was the shock of 2023. Did, did you see the one where DSP was wearing like this tight burgundy turtleneck? Oh, yeah. Come it on. was such a bad choice because it looked like he had tits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then Chad is good. like, <laughs> oh, my God. they're like, no, you got tits. And DSP goes, I don't have breasts, you fool. These are pecs. I have no, yeah, pecs. Pecs. Oh, the pecs. Yeah, you cannot say pecs, brother. Come on. <laughs> just don't use that word. <laughs> the I think pecs. an attractor on Twitter did a zoom in and it just fucked with my head. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little turned on for a second. No, oh, it's just shit. like, how could Phil go outside in his shirt? Somebody help him. Cat <laughs> doesn't care about Phil. If she no. cared about Phil, she would have saw him in his shirt and said, honey, what the fuck are you doing without a sports bra on? <laughs> Use one of these. <laughs> oh, big ups, dude. Right, I uh, love speak, that guy. Yeah. Uh huh. Amazing. Totally. Keep amazing. doing Speedy what you Phil. You're the greatest. Great goat. Speedy says being in 4K is what killed the documentary. Uh, 
I don't know. I think you would live with that. Come on. Uh, Free says, Free99 says, Dave sounds like a dirty used car sales pig. Smacks the submission tear on the roof. Look all right. Look all right. I'm losing money selling this. Crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what he sounds like. Exactly. Yeah. Listen, I'm losing money selling this to you. You have to take this car. Come on. <laughs> it's on sale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but my favorite takeaway from this whole Argentina saga is that the people that unironically used to pay him now need to pay him more and yep. get absolutely nothing in return. And that uh -huh. is the best. Beat the trolls. Yep. Yeah, well, it, of course. And as we've all pointed out, you know, I think you pointed out, Mika, earlier that Derek's now locked out of uh, suggesting videos for him as well. Oh, oh no. yeah. Son of a bitch. Really? Because that Derek's dude... been banned? Well, no, no, no he's, uh, he can't. He has to level up his membership now to get those oh. great perks, and he he can't spend money because one time he stole his mommy's credit card and got in big trouble. But that mm -hmm. was years ago. He's a full grown man now. It's a simple felony. Uh, <laughs> uh, you really want to impress yeah. women, Derek? You need a felony, little dude. Steal the car. Yeah. <laughs> You know, uh, I know as much as everybody rags on Derek with good yeah. reason, he's still not stupid enough to give DSP money. Even yes. though I think... Congratulations, Derek. Yeah, this this dude is legitimately like 22 years old. He probably has a debit card. And he still just doesn't want to give him the $4.99 a month. I guess now it's $6.99 or $5.99 or whatever the fuck. I've got Kuban to do. Come on. He, he, he does have Derek a job to do. emails him privately. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, remember? Oh, yeah. That was revealed, wasn't it? Like, e yeah. Derek said, like, I said in an email, D D DSP, I said in an email, so I can't remember exactly what it fucking said, but he said, like, yeah, I, I wrote back about that in an email. He could, like, give Phil $4.99. Fuck. Uh, you'd think. You'd think. But that's a lot of OnlyFans. I mean, how many girls would oh, good get point. that? You know, so. It's like one good <laughs> subscription. Uh-huh. The, for the, the choice subscription, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyways, let's go to message real quick. Samuel. Yep, here is Big Guy. Hey guys, you probably already talked about the DSP Reacts membership pricing nonsense, but I could feel my brain swelling as Phil tried to explain it. <laughs> Somehow giving Phil two extra dollars on top of the four dollars you already paid him to upgrade your membership is somehow saving money, and somehow <laughs> Phil is going to make half as much despite his fans paying, in his own words, two dollars extra. <laughs> He can't actually be this stupid, can he? He has to know he's spinning some pure 100% bullshit when he says stuff like this, which is why it takes him 15 minutes to explain that he wants his fans to pay extra to get the same worthless crap they cut before the trolls were giving his fans stuff for cheap. The thing that kills me with this scam is that he's basically telling his fans they need to give him more money because the trolls were ruining his business by giving his fans discounts. Mm -hmm. Mind-blowing that Phil can claim his income is down 37% and then charge 57% or sorry, 50% more for memberships and his fucking fans will still fall for it. <laughs> How have they not noticed what a greedy lion sack of shit this guy is? Well, if they come this far, right? <laughs> Maybe you're willing to come a little further. You know what I'm saying? If you give yeah. DSP money at this point, I mean, <laughs> something's wrong. <laughs> and there's well, still if time he to tell. Supported, yeah. It could end. That's the big uh, hook that he says. Yeah, pretty much. I guess we're going to find out in the next couple of weeks if people are actually buying into this whole scam or not. As if, I mean, they shouldn't. Like, how is it in their best interest, people that are unironically supported him, having to pay more to make up the fact that people are just trolling him and gifting him a bunch of cheap memberships? Listen, Meerkat, it makes a lot of sense if you don't think about it. Uh -huh. yeah. I think it's I like there's that. always stupider people. Remember, like, there's always he's found the audience that he knows he could say whatever the fuck he wants and it's totally fine. It doesn't matter, guys. We're thinking about this. Wait, you, we're all too normal. You all have the, too many brain cells. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, I mean, that's not even a slight. That's just fact of the matter. If you yeah. still give him money for what you're getting, imagine what you're getting. He says Q&A every fucking show. Every show ends with Q&A, and then he says $5, we'll do Q&A. What? We do Q&A every day, and you don't answer any questions. You know, if you, got you ask your point. <laughs> if you ask your favorite ice cream, he'll say, fuck off. I'm not answering that. I don't work in absolutes. <laughs> Listen, I feel the loss of bubbles is the big determining factor in all of it. 
<laughs> that's that's for that's very sure. That was a sad day when the bubbles are now gone because we have to be an adult content creator. What again? Yeah. Chair spin. Yeah. The oh, chair, chair spin, spin was one of my favorites. <laughs> or that was cat's idea. idea. Cat's idea. We got cat. If she she spin in that. a chair and eat like uh wasn't he eating like Reese's or some sort of like uh, Skittles? Skittles. Skittles yeah. like really really old from Halloween <laughs> three years past. <laughs> That's the new meta. And he needs the to go cool back thing to about that. that. Cool thing about that is he still owes us Skittles. He couldn't even <laughs> eat the ones that he got paid for. And he still owes us reparations. shots. He, he owes us drinking because he got paid and didn't drink. Oh, my God. That's What's right. I want Cobra mixed drinks. I want those old Skittles mixed with Whale Tail Gin Phil deliver. Oh, you put them all together and get some Cyrax drinks going. Yeah, now we're talking. You need to be the manager. Come on. Get on I would that. manage Phil unironically. I would dedicate at least a week. <laughs> I have to edit my own videos. That's a lot for me. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think Mike was the perfect manager because I think he was thinking uh, in Phil's best interest. And I still think he had a hand in the whole cat thing being revealed. Um, un until I get proven otherwise, I'll still keep thinking about this. Hey, hey, okay, great point, Mayorkat. And Gundam, I want your take on this. Then why would he reveal Catherine? What is the benefit if there's not a documentary happening? Is it just for the the, the quick boost of bucks when they see her for the first time? Come on. It That's honestly made no sense to me. Like, yeah. keeping Cat hidden till the documentary drop was the move to make. So, like I said, when I saw Cat, I knew it was over. Because that, that was the only thing I was interested in. The minute he revealed that he ruined Cat like he ruined his life. That's what I was in for. <laughs> now I don't need the documentary. I have the answer to my question. I do have yeah. to give an apology, though, to Dark Side Phil. Okay, go ahead. DSP, I am sorry that I accused you of having a neighborhood boy that was chubby wear a wig in a car with you. I did not realize that that was Cat, and I am very sorry for accusing you of some sort of weird <laughs> grooming. <laughs> <laughs> well, shout out to that reddit poster that said they saw dsp with a middle eastern woman and and we all said that was not true uh, <laughs> i didn't do it was a sage we, we give like, him God, some reparations liar. too yeah <laughs> i think i think one of the the obvious answers uh an, an opinion i share uh is well high strings just said it in chat spent too much on champions using money he thought he had from memberships so had to do something. Oh. Could be too. I mean, we got the the, the streak is at two thousand one hundred, whatever the fuck it is. And hey, Vader, if you want to, I mean, there's a new event where you can get Hall of Fame Vader, dude. So oh, I mean, yeah. how can you not? Yeah, Darth Vader. <laughs> I'm in on that. Come on, you love the fucking Vader. That's what's so amazing, though. It's like this whole thing about not having enough money is all because he can't give up on a mobile game. That's all it is. And as a formal gambling addict myself, yes, I understand the desire to wait. No, I don't, because you can't win anything <laughs> with WWE champions. No, it's, you can't. Where yeah. the fuck's the thrill? <laughs> no, no, you get sweaty men. You get gold Hogan. So come on. Oh, well, I mean, money, golden Hogan's. It's kind of close in, in, five in some star ways. <laughs> Hogan and Macho Man. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, brother. I mean, that's that will make you clum bust right there. You know what I'm saying? So. I mean, that's pretty hype. But so as a, as a former, a former addict, though, what did it take you to get over that addiction? Oh. oh, back in the day when you owed money, man, they just had guys come collect. And if you didn't have the money, they beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying we need to get someone to Phil needs someone to beat his ass. That's if probably someone true. Like, if Phil had two big black eyes, beat the shit out of him and throw him in a dumpster, it would be a good deterrent. <laughs> Well, sounds good to me. All right, Jaha, you got the you got the assignment. <laughs> Isn't it ironic Jaha's around the same age as Phil and the dude's fucking ripped? Yes. And yeah, meanwhile, man. Phil has like these emaciated arms. Well, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, Jaha's been pumping from way back in the day, dude. That that guy That's is just true. straight up. He's always he's, been jacked. He's yep. got the, the DSP login streak, but like five five times in the gym, not even yes. like in, in a mobile game. Yes. The dude is grinding. So instead of, you know, pulling <laughs> pulling oh, JPEGs, yeah. he is pulling weights. Yes. Good big ups, Jaha, to you. And also, he is a legend forever for saying in fucking 2000 and whatever the fuck it was, hey, hey yo, Phil, shut the fuck up. No one wants to look like you. 
<laughs> in 2010. <laughs> yeah, that would Amazing. burn me for years if I was Phil. <laughs> oh, yeah. The now, imagine... A normal dude would get inspired by that to get ripped. Like, I'll fucking show him, not Phil. Mm -hmm. nope. mm -mm. Yeah. I'll imagine you... this dude confronting you and making you cry. What kind of a scar that would leave on your subconscious? And then telling everybody, and Justin Wang is dunking on you. Or Wong. Yeah. yeah. Wong. You might have to just take the beating rather than cry. Because then you, you can think. cry in the hospital bed. And then they'd be <laughs> like, he's got a concussion. It's okay to shed some tears. Yeah, I mean, that, that makes a lot of sense. You talk trash online. Somebody finds you in public. They're like, what's with all the trash talking? You just take the beating, dude. You don't just cry about being an alcoholic Especially and going in the bathroom. Especially rat you out. Yeah. Yeah. No, dude, Jaha, right now, yeah. I had one too many Long Island iced teas and margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> and you're at a fighting game tournament where it's like kind of like a masculine style mm. thing you know like you know it's kind of like you know sorry guys i'm an alcoholic was like uh, rambo there <laughs> no I, I don't think rambo was there for that trip he was with viscount the famous viscount who fought ltg oh he yeah was, staying viscount with viscount. was like yep. yeah i'm not getting involved with this it doesn't matter to me if <laughs> yeah, Viscount's yeah. the one that could fight <laughs> Yes, and uh, he, well, remember there was some lore there where DSP and Viscount were supposed to fight, and then DSP said, "Why don't we just do DX? Do the DX chops. chops? Yes, yeah." So. And Viscount <laughs> was like, "All right, I've wasted enough of my life with you. Fuck it." Yeah, I'm kind of done with this. It's not funny anymore. <laughs> yeah, DSP like uh, had like a whole fight planned out, and he's like, "If I kill you, you have to sign a contract or some crap like that." Mm -hmm. The guy's a legend. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, thanks, Nerd Brew and Q Strong. Uh, Jaha did hit Phil down with the 300 shield they were giving out at Evo one year. Uh, so he got to knock him down the aisle. And, oh, my God, if we had video of that, it would be on a fucking loop. But, unfortunately, we don't. Uh, but that's big ups to Jaha there on that one. Let's go. Let's go. Another, a few more messages, Samuel, if you don't mind, before we close nope. out for the day. It's been a great day so far. Okay. Here is Hashi. In the house. Um, hey, that being said, it's Hashi here, and um, I saw It's a Gundam supposed to be on the show today, and I hope Steve is there too, of course. Um, big up, Steve. Anyways, I was thinking, um, well, what would be, like, the, the most funny alternative if Phil wasn't spending money on champions? And by that, I mean, like, if he had, like, another hobby, what would be really <laughs> funny? If he was just, like, spending all this cash on it. And, um, obviously, I think the funny alternative would be, like, Gundam model kits, right? If Phil was just, like, this, like, terrible snap builder who doesn't file away the nubs and all that stuff <laughs> but um i think it'd be really funny if phil was like a gun nut secretly like he just spent like loads and loads of money on guns and we just never <laughs> knew about it um anyways yeah big ups oh yeah and here's my cat oh nice hey he spoke nice <laughs> jasper won't speak on command uh-huh Hell no. Dude. If these oh, had question. guns like let's face it one of us would have been dead by now so yeah we can answer that one He's got to come for somebody. Gun to model kits. That would be funny, but also if he had some rare ones, it would have been a good investment because he could flip them to make his money back. He can't sell them though. The trolls, remember, he couldn't sell his old figures on eBay because too many trolls, dude. How could he not just like find a somebody else to like just create an account or something? I just feel Phil is just fucking lazy. That's the here's the uh, real yeah. tea about Phil, Go ahead. and uh, he's just he's really lazy, dude. Like if you look at his YouTube channel, it reflects who he is. You look how mm -hmm. he dresses, it reflects who he is. You look how his body looks. It reflects who he is. Oh, I hurt my back. Blah, blah, blah. You can still work on your arms and legs. Use a bench, dude. Use your fucking legs, bro. He's just lazy. If DSP <laughs> took all that money from, like, WWE champions and invested it with, like, JP Morgan or some shit over the last 10 years, he'd be sitting on, like, 600 grand. And he could have retired by now. But it's just not who he is. I forgot my point. But that's that uh, you made a great that's fine. That's that's the major thing. If he would have done the most conservative of like mutual fund on earth, you know, he would be fine. He would be joining those people he's now making fun of for retiring from YouTube. Like if they're assholes, by the way. They're retiring yeah. from YouTube. Screw what you, assholes? Matt, Pat. <laughs> yeah. You know what they're retiring? Because they can. <laughs> no, they're retiring because they're rich. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So, but Phil says they're assholes because they don't do it for the love of the game. So come yeah, on. They're not they're not passionate like him. Says uh -huh. the laziest man on earth. Well, right. that peg was pretty passionate, we just heard. Very true, very true. Yep. We gotta get the Steiner math on that. 
<laughs> well, I lost fifty percent, and they that their memberships went up thirty five percent, and then you see the uh, Argentinian peso that goes down to one percent. We got to get that going. <laughs> Somebody write it. Yes, please. <laughs> Uh, but, so, uh, Sam just left. I was going to say play another message, but there we go. Uh, big ups to, um, Meth Bear in the house. He says, in my legal opinion, Phil, this is Meth Bear, is a confirmed lawyer, Gundam. So let's get Meth Bear's opinion. Uh, in my legal opinion, Phil was crazy to lose Panda since she had built in DSL and could have, and could have saved him money. He should ride a Hayabusa without a helmet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Big ups. laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I read them as I get them. Uh, Copeside Phil says, who's ready for a Super Bowl party where you can't talk about sports, you're not playing sports or sports games, and you're eating tacos while playing Street Fighter VI, and uh, and you're also doing co- Call of Duty with a host who hates sports. That sounds like a pretty high Phil's Super Bowl party. doing a Super Bowl party. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, yeah, but you can't play sports. We're not playing sports, and we're not talking about sports. He doesn't even watch sports, does he? Yes. No. He, yes, bro. correct. He doesn't even let people in his chat talk about sports. Literally yes. everything that DSP is not interested in is not allowed in his chat. You can straight up get banned for talking about whoever the fuck is hot in the NFL right now. This yes. man is a wild animal. <laughs> yeah. He's he's just like all the corporations that he hates that just monetize a certain event, even though they can't relate to it or they have nothing to do with it. They just make an event out of it. He yeah. has become this. Uh-huh. That's perfect metaphor. Like, yeah, we got to do this fucking, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. What's a good cause? I don't know. Can, he's ca- just, ca- Canadian he's geese. Terrible. He's really bad. <laughs> yep. Like, yes. Why? That's what we've learned. <laughs> there's, there's no other reason to do a Super Bowl thing for him than to try and monetize it. It's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, big ups to um, Dark City to Phil says, release the Burnell cut. Yes, we do need the Burnell cut of the of the Dart DSP throwback. Is what that was in reference to. Yes, we always have the the, the we we'll always keep uh, the Burnell cuts because he's gonna keep editing them out. And we'll, don't worry, we won't let those get edited out. But we'll always play the the real shit as we heard today with the teachers having sex with students. Pretty hype. Uh, go ahead, Sam. Want to do another message if you don't mind? Yeah, let's do. Uh, where were we? This is Durkey. Hey guys. I recently tried to introduce my one of my friends to DSP, and I had this problem with him not knowing like a single thing about him. Uh, so I really had nowhere to start from. Obviously, I showed him the incident and tried to talk about his history with Let's Plays and direct capture and stuff. But it, it, I ended up looking like a raving lunatic because there's just so much stuff to cover, and I don't have... <laughs> <laughs> like the means to like everything, every single thing I was explaining to him led to like a 10 minute rabbit hole of, <laughs> of a tangent that would just dive off into some random direction. Like, like his snorts, his snorts are like an entire rabbit hole of information that you have to front load people. <laughs> Anyways, my, my question is what, what would you uh use to introduce somebody to DSP. Obviously, I know ALT likes the uh, Madden. Uh, this is how you don't play. But the problem with the this is how you don't play is that I found that they're quite slow. They're a very slow burn. I need yeah. I need something that's going to be powerful and will hit in like a minute or like two minutes uh, <laughs> to really get the point across of how much of a scumbag he is, which I did to some extent. Anyways, mm-hmm. big ups. So never yeah. suggest your friends and family to DSP. I, I did the same <laughs> stupid thing literally like over the summer. My buddy comes over and I have one of those DSP heads that are still painted on my paint desk. Yeah. And he goes, oh, Warhammer. Cool. <laughs> and I go, actually, no, this isn't Warhammer. This is Dark Side Phil. And I'm trying to explain Dark Side Phil to him. And I do the same exact thing. And I'm like, OK, he's best known for jerking off on stream. And here's the video. He goes, oh, yeah, I've seen this before. That guy, the jerk off dude. And I'm like, yeah, and there's all these other things. So I was like, yeah, that's cool. No, I'm not really interested. And I'm like, I totally understand. This is only for people that are mentally deranged, such yes. as myself. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. That's a, I, the same thing. You got to go to the jerk off because everyone gets a laugh out of that. And then you see, uh, and then you see where to go from there. But yeah, like I don't you recommend see if they want to <laughs> nibble a little bit more on that carrot. <laughs> yeah. 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 Very robust. For me, it, it's kind of simple. You just show him the scorn clip and that kind of outlines who he is. So he's a streamer that plays video games that is extremely ungrateful at anybody supporting him. And he's not he's not really hiding it in that clip. 
And then at the end, you can say, oh, yeah, that, that guy also jerked off, you know, to, to raise the interest of the guy you're talking to. So then you, then they're interested in, in this, like, wait, 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 he jerked off? And then you have them, you know, you have their attention. <laughs> so you can keep going on and on until their breaking point, which is about, like, five minutes later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, real quick, someone said in chat, Sam, can you please play the Bad Bunny-esque style dsp that happened in a few weeks in uh, oh, the last two days this is a good one i can indeed i believe that's that's the one that i've labeled scrounge i think there we go big yeah. up scrounge let's Here go scrounge go. And my it. answer was hospital video by the way so there we oh, go that's good too Give seriously oh, that's a classic. you cannot but... afford the more expensive membership you cannot afford 5.99 versus 3.99 well if you really really can't i'm certainly <laughs> not going to complain I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I believe you that you're telling wow. me that something you pay $3.99 for now that you can't pay $5.99 for to get the same thing plus added benefits because a troll ruin is trying to ruin the channel. I, I have a hard time believing that. I'm sorry. I really do. But wow. maybe you're maybe you, you can't scrounge up the two bucks. That's okay then. Obviously, I can't force anyone to do anything. But I told you that's my concern. My concern is people don't like change. And it's been like this for a year and it works and people are used to it. And now I'm being forced into a change I don't want to do. I don't want to do that change. And I'm being forced and that sucks. So right there, I right, there's an example. I almost feel like there's going to be people who are going to say, well, I just can't do it. It's like, well, can you really not do it? Or you just not want to do it, right? Because you're afraid you, you don't like change. You don't want to have to pay more. I hear you. I don't want you to pay more. You know what I mean? I, it, it fucking sucks. This is shit ruining my... Everything that I have set up here, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. I don't want like you to pay more, but you kind of have to, you know? <laughs> sounds Man. like a personal trainer. Like, you know, those dudes like David Goggins, like, do you want to do it? Do you, can you do it? Or you just don't want to do it? Step up. That's what it sounds like. I mean, that's when what he we're says at now. That, like the price is changing after a year. All I can think is snortflation, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And the thing is that not wanting to do it is a perfectly valid response. Like you can I, just say, I don't want to pay you more, dude. Get lost. And then that's it. Yep. Yep. No, I, that's I, not it. The troll no. will win. Yes. I oh, that, that's, man. that's all he has is Q and A. Like that's all he can think of. Like in any situation, is it's just his big thing. We get it every day anyway. This Ask mm -hmm. the King, which seems to have disappeared, I think. When was the last time we did that? I don't know. That's gone because um, there's so much fucking Q&A. So, yeah. yeah. There, you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, you get Q&A and, and the schedule all yeah, the time. Yeah, exactly. Come on, what else do you want? So <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and like, his excuse would be, like, I don't, YouTube doesn't offer me, uh, the, I don't, it doesn't give me the tools to to offer you anything or whatever, and it's like, you could there's a million things you could be doing like he could the simplest thing i can think of off the top of my head is just Parkour. um well <laughs> maybe cool. maybe um i like, watch watch the the vods you know make those unlisted and uh, and and allow the members to watch them it would be my suggestion they already Something are like on the on the react channel that's a perk you get and oh, he's, in this case oh, he's talking about the react yeah, but I mean, but, uh, yeah. of course, your your point still stands because there are custom perks where you can think of something that you think gives value and justifies the price tag, and you could just offer it to people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's so there's... many fucking options. I mean, you know, let's play a game together. You know, that's something normal people can do. But it's yeah. but if you're such an asshole for 15 years that you can't do that shit because trolls will do their best to get in there. I mean, you're, you, he is kind of fucked in that sense, but it's because he was an asshole for 15 years and continues to be. Uh, real quick, though, what's the difference of that and Bad Bunny? Because I don't hear very much difference, and when Bad Bunny did that, that was all over the fucking place. Yep. Like, this is very... This is the same thing. I think we have that DSP always does this, so it's not a big deal thing. Because that's the exact same thing as Bad Bunny, isn't it? <laughs> I have it. I have it. The yeah, difference I is that this segment that we heard right now is supposed to be unrecorded. So this, if you watch the actual clip, it's in between the stream recording for the podcast and the stream recording for the video. So he was actively trying to conceal that. Well, ah. Bad Bunny's just happened publicly on a live stream that she did. <laughs> Bad Bunny gave less of a fuck. She's That's definitely true. a bit more vitriolic and yep. antagonistic. Whereas the Phil is like groveling, sniveling, and begging. And everyone's already tired of Phil. The only people who care about him are us. Yeah. But I, I, I love the fact no that, like, no. like I, I love the fact that 
like yeah but it still happened and but in phil's mind he would 100 percent um use that as an excuse he would say no this was this wasn't meant to be seen like he said it before you know when those those segments that, are, that aren't shown he he would he would justify it by saying yeah but that was a that was from a live stream and it's not part of one of my uploads he would definitely say that <laughs> yeah. it's just such and it's just, just sort of an odd way of thinking about it i'm gonna i, I feel like i, I want to like upload that and make it go viral now i'm gonna put it on twitter and like, <laughs> Do it, dude. just to see if it happens <laughs> You know what? This this same segment kind of happens during the podcast when somebody says, well, Phil, I'm not willing to pay you more. And then he just says, well, you know what? That's going to be the hard part of this whole thing is is convincing people to pay more. And he kind of just, you know, shrugs it off like it's normal. Somebody just said it's not good for their, you know, they're not getting the value. OK, but the unrecorded clip is when we have this thing that we just heard right now, where it's completely the opposite thing. I want to know Gundam because you obviously I don't know how you get friends or whatever, but you know you could you have the connections to uh, you you have the like the connections to people that could you know would set Phil off like you could you could set a DM to Keemstar and say like could you do a DM to DSB real quick about this and just set Phil off like I would be not have the restraint to not sit hit that button. So you're saying like <laughs> I'm not saying that I would do it. <laughs> but I could say something to someone else that might yeah. say something. Uh huh. You could say like Keemstar, have you seen this? And like you know, you know Keemstar right, might. I see. You know? <laughs> if yeah, Sam just happens to pass me the video, uh -huh. and I send it somewhere, <laughs> yeah. and it just ends up uh -huh. in the wrong that's what I'm hand. Talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that would be very, very unfortunate. Uh -huh. It would be because I'm all about the fun positivity and the chill streams and vibes that DSP has. Did you know that his videos help people? Oh, they, they do. Mm. They change my life. I so mean, do absolutely. ours. <laughs> yeah, it's a very so beautiful. Go dude. figure what is meaningful and what's not. Uh, speaking of meaningful, Gundam, yes. do you have any insider knowledge of when the the Mudahar video on DSP is coming? Because I know yep. it's in the I works. I haven't heard anything about that in a long time. I know one was in the works, but that's all I've heard. I don't have any inside info, to be honest. Lord right. knows I've been dragging that ass on my DSP video for the past year. Mm -hmm. I, it's I just know. hard to, to go through 50 gigabytes of dark side <laughs> fell. Yeah, that, that, that motherfucker just wears people off, man. So, uh, yeah, I get it. You need to have a very specific <laughs> mindset and be willing to lose a lot of brain cells to be sitting through all that slop. You got to sit through it. Then you have to, like, cut it down to the most interesting parts for a normal human being. Like a normal person, not a detractor. Yeah. A normal human that'll watch this. Yeah. Then you have to edit it. And sometimes my editing sessions can go for 10 hours a day. And I keep adding these little things. And like Sam said earlier, like one thing leads to another and another yep. and another. And it just branches out. And it's like there's so much fucking lore to try and make sense of this insanity. Yeah. 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 I think that's that's one of the reasons why it takes. I mean, I, I, I take a long time to put anything out anyway, but like there's always something new and the, you know, and, and as soon as you put something out, it's almost instantly out of date with him as well. Um, <laughs> yes. You know, or, or, you know, there was, I got a comment on one of my videos the other day where they were like, you know, you could change the dates on this uh, to, to 2024 and it would still be relevant, but you know, which is true, but yeah, yeah. you know, you could, you could use clips to make the same point from now, you know, and stuff like that. So it's, yeah, it's like, what do you use? Like, well, where do you start with it all? It's like, and, like and, yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the, the thought always How do you occurs to me, it like, and make it funny in my yeah. case. And, yeah. and yeah. And like, why, you know, what, why would anyone watch this that maybe doesn't know about him and stuff like that? But yeah. Um, but like, uh the, the thought always occurs to me like to do the like the frederick nudson thing and you know make the comprehensive documentary but it just still keeps rolling so you cut the you know as soon as you put it out it's it's at already some point old, you just you know? have to give up yeah, so. yeah. true art yeah. is never finished only abandoned uh -huh. we're at the point now like gundam do you worry about how deep you get in those videos because obviously you have mass a huge audience and like you you, I know you know enough to go like, you know, you can't just throw a random ant poison reference in there because like, you know, how, what percent is not even, what ant poison, what's that? Gundam's I know. Talking about shit, you know, like, it's gotta I'll be tough. Sit there and make a DSP joke that I think totally hits home and people don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> like that's tough. Like, 
<laughs> oh man oh no <laughs> yeah you gotta like that's fucking sucks dude <laughs> but I right, there's some people thing. that hate dsp so when i do his yeah. videos i get messages they're like a fucking two hour long dsp video man <laughs> we're so sick of this fucking guy dude and i'm like fuck i was just doing a video for the hundreds of people asked for it now there's hundreds more that hate him and me <laughs> <laughs> all right sam last message choose a good one come on last right. ones get out of here okay uh this seems good to me, I think. Oddly shaped Fred. DSP. Ooh, yes. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Hey, that being said, uh, oddly shaped Fred here with the normal sized head. Uh, I don't want to talk about all the drama that's happening, but you guys are probably going to discuss that. But I want to talk about something that he said that would set him apart from other streamers. Before he said that he would never have ads during the stream. No, those are my, for mouth droolers. Mouth droolers. Mm -hmm. But he plays ads now. He said reacting is the lowest level of entertainment, but yes. he needs to react to survive or else the business is doomed. Mm -hmm. With these new Power World streams, he canceled a scheduled game just to play it. I don't know. It's very interesting, Mr. Doughboy Phil. When I was on my fifth rewatch of a classic level one podcast episode from <laughs> December 13th of 2023, a just a month ago, <laughs> he said this. I strive to be different. I want to be like everyone else, jumping on a viral trend, dropping everything at the at the at, the, at a moment's notice because oh, there's some popularity behind a game I play. I, I you know I've been doing it for 15 years. I like to think I kind of know what I'm doing, right? Right, right. I don't know. Right. He doesn't jump on viral trends. He knows how to run a mature business. He's a mature style business owner. Mm -hmm. He didn't do Among Us. That game is for literal babies. But yeah. when Pal World started trending, something clicked in his brain. Yeah. Is this a rare dark side W or another Sir Moist hypocritical moment? That's it. Uh, be safe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. We all know the answer to this. Yes. Go yeah. ahead. It's just another <laughs> one of those philisms. Yep. Like, uh, yep. he'll sit there and say people play video games for clout and to make money. They're, they're hopping on the viral trend video game, but then he buys every new game that comes out. Like, the worst ones are Call of Duty. I, Phil, please yeah. stop playing Call of yeah. Duty, dude. You hate it. I hate it. The, the fans hate it. The detractors hate it. Everybody can't stand it. Like, fucking A, dude. And you, go, you know, people need to stop buying this game because yeah. it's the same game. I'm like, bro, you just bought it. <laughs> Every possible way to buy it, he buys it. And he bought Street Fighter Six twice. I hate that. I hate Damn. Street Fighter. It's fucking sex. Bought it twice. And the uh, <laughs> fucking expensive... um arcade pad yeah arcade stick yep yeah. gotta buy it, two of those it's now retired uh -huh. so get fucked meanwhile his cat needed a uh, a blood work that the cost cat didn't less need the blood work listen <laughs> phil needed the pad dude ah, it was true, for the true. business the point, he couldn't write point. off the cat's blood work that's why it didn't happen <laughs> great point oh one question i gotta ask but before we get out of here uh do any update on our guy right we did the guy we did the auction mm -hmm. Is this guy just a man of mystery or what? We, we where is he at? I think I was supposed to get uh, a review of the figure. I think I did. I can't remember. This is a while back. I uh -huh. think they might have liked it. Liked it. I'll ask my producer. Uh, okay. By the way, my producer has a question for you. Yes. He wanted to know what you thought of our live show. That's completely scruffed piece of shit that I'm doing. <laughs> it's very high. So that's we that's my opinion. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> get fucked, producer. <laughs> No, no, it's very hype. Obviously, I've been watching it. When you get the my clump thing is hype. We get, you know, you're go, you're going hype. Keep it going, dude. We're in. Yeah, I watched there it we yesterday. Go, we're hype. You guys gave me a shout out. Of course, I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, but yeah, keep keep on going with that. Keep working until it's working, and then yep. one yeah, day you'll, you find out it's working. Hopefully, I, I can one... reach I show speed levels. Then I'm gonna like jump out of my car while driving. I'm just gonna Look. take it to new heights for the children. <laughs> uh, are you planning on pulling your cock out on stream? Is that yeah. what you mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. fake um, my dick falling out when it's like half chubbed on. As we all know, mm -hmm. he totally beat off to make his dick yes. look bigger than it was. You're not fooling anybody, kid. We've all been there, son. <laughs> <laughs> you got a pre-chub. I do have one comment. Uh, oh, Gundam. okay. You, uh, you need to release that tune that you, you played. Oh. It needs to be on YouTube. Please. Uh, it's in the works. I'm going to try and use it to like show my band like, hey, guys. People might like this. Yeah. And then I just want to go back to doing music and pull a Joji if at all possible.
Yeah. I've exposed my true plan. There you well, go. I mean, you, you have something that's going on that 99% of the bands don't, and this is exposure. You can just mm -hmm. show your song to like hundreds of thousands of people. So just go for it, man. Whatever makes you happy, just, just go for it. If, if you end up being a Joji, season, then, you know? <laughs> if it wasn't election season, I think I would fare better. But uh, I'm getting the 2020 treatment again. Uh, Where here in America, they're scared to death of the Red Emperor's return. So they're throttling anything they think is a little too on the right. Uh, you got to wait wait till next year. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and I'm not even on the right. I'm a mematarian. Yeah, and that's the best way to describe your content, I think, is mematarianism. For, for sure. <laughs> but all right, my friends. Fucking A, dude. What a show it's been. I'm talking like fucking um, Only Use Me Blade. Fucking A, dude. Holy hell, dude. Ayo. Anyways, what a show it's been. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out today. Gundam, obviously. Big ups for hanging out. Always hype when you enter our podcast. Thanks so much, my friend. I'm uh, happy to be yeah. here. I like sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Not like cats. Uh, but obviously, I hope to get you back some other day in the future. Always welcome. Good luck with your show. Everything. Meerkat, any business style announcements before you get out of here? Uh, no. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Check out the other stuff we did. And have a good one. Burger. Oh, real quick. Sorry, if I didn't shout you out, I'm, I really do apologize. Obviously, didn't mean to, but you're all, they're all meaningful to me. I promise you that, brother. They are fucking meaningful. Go ahead, Sam. <laughs> There you go. Right. And yeah, don't forget about your king. As oh, yeah. Well. Of the ring. Get your songs in. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Gundam. See you, everyone. Did I ever Good punch night, a bee? Everybody. Yes, I did. I actually have punched a bee. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what a man. This one goes out. To the one and only, the big cat, the fat cat, big ups. I first saw you in Burger King, you took two seats cause that ass is way too big, had a boyfriend I realized, but you him lies with your raccoon eyes the door dash is here wipe away your tears got you extra fries and they taste just right have no fear there's no trolls here Tevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes, raccoon eyes, raccoon eyes. Tevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. Take you. some sushi like you were the queen let me run some errands while you sleep i can watch you play skyrim all day this week have no fear there's no trolls here Devin made you cry with those records So much she loves me and a family and Jasper and, and you know the things we get to do together even though I definitely want more time with them and more family time but I absolutely love 
<clears throat> my life today compared to how it used to be. Seriously. All those years back then, you'd be like, it's a whirlwind of crap. It was me. And by the way, I've told you guys about my past. I used to drink way too much. I would be drinking constantly, all the time, because I was so stressed out. I was, I, honestly, when I started with this whole thing, I was depressed many years ago, you know, a decade ago. I didn't like my life or anything. And basically, liquor was the way to kind of get through that. You know, it was, oh, I hate my life. I hate, I hate who I am. So let me just drink it all away and just keep pumping out fucking YouTube videos. I don't have to do that shit anymore. You know, like, I'm happy with who I am. Chicken tikka masala.